Wait, wait, wait. Does it work? Huh? Oh, my things are being weird. Uh, okay. Are things are good? Why are. Oh, I know why. Hold on, sorry. I was doing something and I changed some settings and that messed everything up as it usually does. There we go. Hi, thanks for the um, the subs right off the bat. Uh, appreciate it. That's uh, very cool. I mean, thanks a lot. Like, I couldn't have gotten to where I am at this point um, without, you know, y'all's support. So it means a lot. Uh, <coughs> Who is it? What? I should kick your fucking ass. I should kick your fucking ass. I, gotta I want to I re-record that for me. Like, I want to record myself saying that and then put some, like, effects on it. It's going to be really funny. Um, <coughs> Sup, what's up, God? But yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Again, you know, thank you, Snack, for, um, what is that? Is that, like, it's several, that's, that's a, there's a lot of numbers here, a lot of things. It took me, like, three hours to even get affiliate going because, like, their tax form website was all messed up. And then I like spent like an hour just messing with my voices. Like I have a little button now. Actually, you'll see it whenever you get. But there's channel, there's channel redemption stuff. So you can see you can like make me do push-ups, or crunches, or I can get a random hat, or there's water. There's stuff like that. <clears throat> so yeah, you know that'll be fun. Uh, it's gonna take balancing out. You know, as I get, I gotta figure. I don't know how a good, a good. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. It is eight. Um, a good like mix for points, like what's a good amount, what's like not a good amount, you know that kind of thing. So yeah, I should make the the imbibe cheaper. It's your something today. Cake and ice cream is on its way. Oh yeah. Um. Oh yeah. There's ads. Uh. I gotta make sure you get the dab rats. Yeah, the dab rats. Well, I got. I have like. There is an ad thing on here. I tried like to make the ads not intrusive. So I hope they're not like stupid. Not that y'all will see them because you're subs, but you know. I wanna like have some kind of ad and see how it works out. I don't want the ads to be like intrusive, so if the ads are like really bad, please tell me. They're like once every hour or something. So it's like a thirty second ad every hour. Yeah you can take uh Tanuki for that one. Yeah, what is it? See, they did the art for that. So they did they did the the rat dab art and the talkie the nefair art. They did the rat art, they did a lot of art. So yeah. You were talking to Snooky yesterday. Go give them more stuff. More attention. I'm getting text messages here. Everyone's like yelling at me. Okay, well, let's get to the game. <clears throat> um, let's, you know, put this first good day to use. <laughs> uh, I want to record a bunch of voice lines. I, I like recording sound effects for stuff that gets used and then use, like, my own voice for the sound effects. So instead of, like, a, you know, like, an electronic beep, it's me just going beep. You know, I think that's fun to do. That's going to be in one of the things that I have going on here. So, but let's go back to Norway. Let's see how scary Norway is. Yesterday we we fought a bunch of stuff in Norway. Oh, there's the faces too. I forgot that they're on there. Oh god, I could do I could do a soundboard. I need to get I need like a stream deck for that though. <laughs> I don't have any sound effects yet because I, I there's a bunch of stuff that I want to get set up. I didn't feel like spending like a bunch of hours on it. I'll do it like over time. Uh, we can, you know, start small right now. I have a bunch of ideas, but a lot of them I need, you know, money. Which, when I get paid by my job, you know, I can start commissioning artists for stuff. Like, I want to get, like, a pixel rat that runs around. All sorts of stuff. I got, I got ideas. I got ideas. So. It'll happen. But, yeah. So, we'll go, let's go to Norway. <laughs> let's go back to Norway. When we left off last time, I had gotten killed by the snake witch. Or the snake witch's children, actually. See if we can kill her this time. Or kill her babies this time. <clears throat> uh... Yeah, yeah. Hey, lady. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven?
The last time I died, most of I got stuck on something. I think we can do good this time. Let me know everything's down. Okay. Oh no! God damn it! Yeah, but they're called Norway rats. They're Norway rats. They're from Norway. Uh, let's... God. There are rats in Norway. They're called Norway rats. That's like saying Parisian rats. Because there's no rats in Paris, which everyone knows is a lie. <coughs> rats are very good. <coughs> Come on. Oh, I missed. Mean, okay. It's very hard to hit with the bow. Because it might takes up most of my screen. <laughs> I think everyone knows Paris is notoriously full of rats. I mean, we've, all, we've all seen the documentary Reddit right too. Everyone always goes to Japan for like mech pilots too. Paris has rats and they are clearly incredibly good at piloting rats. That's exactly how I was going. Yeah, my mom like flew overhead and you know, shat me into the water. Yeah, Almost got it. I actually forgot about the Freedom Fries thing until like a couple weeks ago. And I was like, oh yeah, we did name we did name them Freedom Fries because France didn't want to go to Afghanistan with us. You should stream again. That's, you know, that's. If I can do it, you can do it. And you got a better setup than me. Make noise one more time. I barely survived this time. I don't know if I want to make noise again. Oh, yeah, so you can see our channel point. Yeah, that's true. Making noise is a very me thing. <laughs> but this is this is noise that's gonna kill me. But our channel points, um, our channel points are friends. That's Red Friend right there. He's the he's the leader of the friends, and he is willing to help you. You know, you know, parlay with the friends, and you can make deals with the friends and exchange friendship for uh, for fun acts that you can make me do. Red friend is very good. Red friend call you fat. Well, have you thought about telling red friend that you're not fat? <laughs> just a window. And then it's just like, who's watching who? Well, it's true. Well, then why are you upset? <clears throat> if red friend told you the truth, then why are you mad at red friend? Red friend is a friend. Let's make noise again. Let's see if I die. More noise. Oh. oh. I am on safe ground. Okay. So I think I'm like 
maybe um, I gotta be halfway or over halfway through the game. I looked up the length of this game, and it's a it's a twelve hour game, <laughs> which is you know, kind of surprising. But it's very cool. Hell yeah, you know, stream FF14. Get the memes, what is that? Ah, oh, Torment Stream, hell yeah. <laughs> if you like art experience, Jaff Dog, you might like uh, Manifold Garden. That was a really fun game to play. It's, like a, it's not a terribly difficult puzzle game, but it's very pretty. Oh, okay, you went with Bunny Girl. I don't know if I if I go back to Final Fantasy XIV, I probably have to stay as a Femro, because Femros are you, and there's not enough of them. Oh. What is that? I don't know if you're aggressive or not. I'm gonna throw a rock at you though. Okay, I don't think they're aggressive. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, it's the witch. Hey, witch, where are you going? I want a muscle lady to pick me up and smooch me on the forehead. That's everyone's dream. I like femoros though, they're cool. What is that? Oh shit, Teddy, uh oh, oh no, no, wait, not ready, not ready. Did you know, did you know Norway has a lot of spiders? Apparently Norwegians hate spiders. God, they're everywhere. We're spider streamers now. But I thought they didn't have rats. Now you're changing your story. Yeah, Norway has spiders and uh, daddy long legs and ticks and trolls and um, roly polies and mosquitoes, and dragonflies, and zombies. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in Norway, apparently. No, Norway is real. Finland is the place that doesn't exist. I've never seen Finland. I've met people who claim they're from Finland, but I don't know. They sound crazy, so it can't be true. Yeah, exactly. If you see any Finnish person and they say they're from Finland, say, no, you're from Russia, and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. You won't, they won't get mad at you or anything. <laughs> yeah, this is, a, this is a list of things that can be found in Norway. They just say I spy, except I'm only just saying things. I spy with my little eye a rock, a tree, bushes. Rope, pulleys, wooden planks, crossbows, signs. More. Oh, is there a go back? Okay, I don't want to go back. Nook pond. Or knock, knock pond. Not knock pond. Is it knock? It's knock. Oh. Oh no! Don't fall. Okay. I want to know who built all of this stuff. Because this is like, this is not safe. You've seen how those witches are built. I don't think this is meant to carry their weight. The dab rats are squished. Compressed dab rats. <laughs> Actively dancing dab rats. There you go. Creative use of modified emote. It's one of like the weirdest channel point things. It doesn't work half the time in my experience. Uh-oh. I'm okay. Yeah. 
One bow arrows. Not bow and arrows, just bow arrow. Yeah, I can imagine. I'm sure it doesn't really hold sunglasses that well. <laughs> Stop, I'm stuck. Stuck, okay. Lock my water bomb? Nice, you did a cannonball. That was pretty good. That was good. Yeah, right? That was nice. Those are some pretty advanced te techniques of some kind. I think she's going to try grabbing me as I jump or something. Oh, I have killed 200 enemies. I can totally do this. There we go. That sounds like a dog thing to do. Have you tried telling the dog to calm down? That usually works. I have 30 lamb heads. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with those, but I guess I have 30 lamb heads. Yeah, the little counter, you can't really see it because I'm covering it, but um, next to my ammo, there's like a kill counter. And to act or to destroy those like black root looking doors, you have to um, have enough kills. Oh, oh okay. Um, I don't know. I think I looked. I was looking at the discussion on Steam, and uh, I guess it was supposed. To, it's like something at the end of the game. It's not really like a like a, a game changing mechanic where you find all like enough of them or all of them. It's just like something you see at the end of the game, I guess, which is fine. <coughs> I right, another one. Yeah, you get you get the uh, you open doors. Using the then you absorb their life force with the absorber. You know, I had to do it to him. If you open the door, we'll just do it. We'll just we'll be good. What's up? I right, get the other torment. I think there's another torment screw back where I was earlier. And I before the lady did a a uh, cannonball. I think calling her lady is a bit much. <laughs> I love how they're animated. Like, it doesn't really account for the textures. So as the uh, like, ah oh shit. Um, as the model moves, <laughs> uh, like the textures don't adjust. So yesterday I streamed for like six hours and I got thirty-eight deaths or something. It's you die a lot in this game. I think I had less deaths in Black Mesa than I did like than I have by now in this game. But Black Mesa was a lot easier than Half Life. Those tentacles killed me a lot. I think I got at least five or six deaths from the witch that was pushing me off the bridge, which was really funny. I think Snek saw it. Um, oh, oh no. Okay. Yeah, when I was playing Half Life 1, I spent most of my time at like below like 30 health or something. I think I'm gonna miss this jump. <gasps> uh oh. I got stuck. <laughs> the big four O. Oh. Yeah. Half-Life 1, I, I played through like the whole series on hard, and uh, god damn it. Well, it wasn't the nice round number for very long. <laughs> but yeah, like, I played through Half-Life 1 and 2, you know, and like Black Mesa, and all their x other than Decay. Um, on hard, 
And Half-Life 1 is just a, such a brutal, brutal, nasty game. It does not let you enjoy anything. You are punished for existing in that game. Very consistently. <laughs> is that a rock ball platform? Like, I was routinely almost out of ammo and almost dead. Uh, and Black Mesa, I... Oh, shit. Oh, and as okay, I guess I, I could see if I can change that voice. Hell yeah. Thank you for the bits. 500 bits. I gotta get more sound alerts. I don't really have a big selection of them. You kick your fucking ass. That's such a good line, too. Go to the rock wall. Okay, so this is where we came from. This is where we fought the witch, or the witch's children. I need one more torment screen. Where do I get it? I need. remember this whole area like part of this area barely annoyed me and I kind of like lost track of my thoughts because ticks are the worst enemy in this game and I hate ticks not only, ticks, not only are ticks awful in reality but in this game ticks are also awful they're just jerks uh, let's try this one there's lots of bear crossbow ammo I'm just so much bear. Um, so emergency HP up in the top right of my screen, there's a number. That's how many uh, healing potions that I have that I can use like in an emergency. And they heal like 15 health. That's what the purple potions are. And then the little red potions, they increase like my maximum actual health. So whenever I find one of those little like orange potions, that this is my max ammo that I can carry, as well as the max amount of uh, emergency potions that I can carry. Let's go. Yay! I'm not even sure what the max like the maximum health you can get is. I assume it's like 150. That's a pretty like common number to use. But who knows? All right, time for the last torment screw. I have to jump on this. It's just like a bridge. Uh oh, uh oh, okay. Wait, did I go this way? What's over there? Did I go? Oh yeah, there's, there, okay, there's a screw over there. Right, right. Yeah, I gotta get. Like, I want to get a stream deck or like something with just like a bunch of keys, so I can bind uh, like soundboard clips to it. Just like what yesterday, like you can jump in this game a lot, and it, you know gives me the the Morrowind uh, Oblivion like max or, like this rapid jumping vibes. This is fun. So I get my first paycheck for my new job on the third. So I don't get money for a while. So I gotta it's gonna be a while before I get any new additions to the stream. Damn it. Okay, 
So it'll be a little while before I get more into the stream. Uh, I have plans for them, like a couple of them. Are you like, look, is it so? Like, do you think you're gonna get the job again, or you just want a better job after the contract ends? Yeah, job hunting is never fun, especially like, like, you know, you need a job to like, you know, live, and then you're not, like, you're not getting a job. You're like, this is scary. You know, why, why is this like this? <laughs> I hate it. Like when I quit my job, I quit one of my jobs, and I like took a little bit of time to myself, and uh, I like. I burned through some of my unemployment. Like, All right, well, I'm gonna start looking for a job now. I should be able to find one pretty easily. And they said the job search went on for a lot longer than I, I uh, felt comfortable. And like feeling that financial pinch sucks. It is not fun. Financial stress is bad stress, like most stress actually. But you know. You going the right way. Yeah, because this is where she the cannonball. Oh yeah, moving even moving like in town can be really expensive. And it's that school in that. Ugh. I worked at a at a you know at a university, and the kids you know talk. I say kids, you know they're like adults, but they're talking about their stuff and financial stuff just sucks in general. <gasps> Time to screw. Gotcha. It's time to screw is a weird thing to say. I'm kind of, I'm a bit lucky. So the job that I, I have, um, it starts at like 21 something an hour. But just after I got hired, the, um, the there's a budget that got passed. Oh, a budget got passed, and uh, the, now it's getting up to like 24 an hour. Stack versus stack. It is her vein. Okay. Oh, this is what the lamb's heads are for. Consumes order and converts it to a beam of lower chaos. Requires lamb heads. Sacrifice. Usable on the witch. Only one the witch mother. Oh, okay. This seems safe. Oh. <laughs> yep. Those. Was... <laughs> I don't think it's vegan. Yeah. Now you die. Okay. What you to do to me? Stop it! This is not a good place to fight her. Ooh. I don't know if I'm supposed to actually fight her here, or I can just like run away. Ow! Where'd she go? Lamb heads! Scared her away. I didn't. Oh. oh, okay. Shit. I have like, it's supposed to remind me of ads. Move the up. Oh, okay, there's an ad in progress. Why are you seeing an ad as a as a sub? You shouldn't be seeing an ad as a subscriber.
Yes, next to see an ad. I don't know why, because you shouldn't be seeing one. Yeah, so like Jeff should be seeing it. Yeah, because like I added, yeah, Jeff should be seeing one because yeah, you're on a sub, which is which is fine. You know, you don't have to be a subscriber. Yeah, I don't know why. Why Snack is seeing one. The next ad is in an hour though, so you should be okay. What's the upcoming auto ad? If I run a one minute ad, hold on. <laughs> why is it in Spanish? All right, hold on. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna run this one minute ad. Oh, I was talking. You can't even. Uh, Okay, but I was talking, you couldn't hear me because there was an ad. I'm going to try running a one minute ad real quick because it says running one minute ad will remove the upcoming auto ad. I don't know what that means. So I'll try. I'm, I'm going to. You got three ads. Why three? I, I have to, I'm going to have to mess with my ad settings. That's so weird because I have it. My ad setting is like one minute of ads an hour. So I don't know why you got to watch. You had to watch three ads. I'll I'll fix this later. I'm sorry. You're goddamn right. <laughs> Let me see. You wanted to go. No, sorry about the chat. No, I said you guys work. See, like, I want to get a little bit of rad evi or rad, radical avenue. I want to get a bit of ad revenue because it, it's it's literally like basic, barely any money. I don't. It's it's not a ton, but it adds up over a little bit of time. But I don't want it to be intrusive to the stream. You know, you're here to watch me play a game, not watch whatever fucking you know weird ad is coming up today. Rad venue, rat avenue. All right, let's go kill Grandma again. Are you watching? Have a troubleshooting a uh, a fully functional website right now, you know. I didn't choose any ads. I didn't choose that many ads. Oh, snack, yeah, for snack station. I don't know why a snack station's getting so many ads either. It's so weird because I I don't have like my settings are not like aggressively. I'm not like aggressively advertising anything. Snack really is consumering. You're you're, you're a cons consumer. Where is Grandma? Let me wait so Snack comes back, because I don't want to, like... Snack was here watching most of the game earlier. I don't want to, like, start the fight when Snack isn't here. Because they were watching it for a while. Now I'm really annoyed at these ads, because I was... I was purposefully, like, making, like, what felt like a really fair bit of ads. Okay. I don't want to force ads on people. I want people to like watch my streams, you know, because they like it. Ow. Come on, Grandma. Come on, Grandma. My lamb head's getting a little fucked up. Alright, there we go. Get another lamb head. <laughs> My lamb head's off with the heat. I know, right? Give me your money, damn it. You gave me your, your, you know, moral and emotional support. Now I want your financial support. I need another death, because I forgot to do a death earlier. Hey, so have y'all ever heard of this game called Titanfall 2? 
Uh, really, really cool. That's a throw. <laughs> uh, no one else is going to get the joke with me about Titanfall 2. I will shell Titanfall 2, though. Respawn, give me that ad money. No! I tried playing Rage Hat Legends once and I didn't like it. That was like several years ago. Ow! Man, this fight's gonna suck. Because this lamb head is not very accurate. <laughs> No, don't upload my. Oh yeah. What am I getting like a Nord VPN uh, offer? I, swear, I hit her. Come on, Grandma. Grandma, stop it. Oh, my eyes falling out. Grandpa, stop it. Need to reload my lamb head. <laughs> yeah. Okay, where's my lamb meat? Where'd Grandma go? <laughs> I'm trying to get something back that the village idiot stole and then lost. Yeah, I don't know even, like, I was on a boat, but I don't know why I was on the boat. I got an itch. <laughs> I got a. Oh, damn it. Hey, Tanuki, thanks for coming by. Look at that little rat. Everyone, rat dab on Tanuki. Who is it? What? I should kick your fucking ass. Thanks for the sub, Tanuki. Appreciate it. I hope you're having a good day or night. I'm currently fighting Grandma. No, I'm fighting regular mother, actually. Yeah, I'm getting spit on. I'm using this lamb head as a ammunition. I'm converting this lamb head into chaos energy. Need to reload my lamb skull. Okay, uh, Grandma. One of us. Yeah. I say one of us like I'm a founder. Oh my god, stop it. Grandma! Grandma's being a real bitch. Stop it. <laughs> okay. 
I was like, this is just like a, any regular family g gathering for a lot of people. You know, grandma's drunk and now she's, you know, spitting so you're throwing, you know, the, uh, the holiday lamb head at her. It's just, this whole game is one allegory for, like, you know, family gathering. Grandma, come back! She's almost dead. I almost got her. Come on, Grandma. I'm at negative 19 land score. <laughs> hey, we're going to Grandma's. There's a. Uh, does someone? Did someone remember to grab the uh, the screws of torment? Yeah, I got them in the trunk. Okay, thank you. And then you get there, and then you know you actually didn't bring the lamp, the screws of torment. <laughs> you gotta put Grandma down. <laughs> Truly a venomous old woman, that is. <laughs> We're constructing an elaborate story for this game because we don't really know what the story is, is what I feel like is going on. It's, yes she does, Tanuki, because corn snakes don't have any venom. <laughs> They're non-venomous. You're right. Good job. Uh, this is, this is a maze. <laughs> non venomous, doesn't mean they ain't toxic. Okay, so the worst part is if I fall off here. Oh, I can quick save. Okay, thank God. I thought I was like in a spot where I couldn't save. You don't want me to sing. I'm not really a great singer. I don't have a good singing voice. Unless I'm singing like a really weird song, like uh, like stories from North America. The one where it's like. Here's a story from North America. And then he sings about spiders and killing the spider. This is the dead end of the... Okay. So this is a weird maze. It's technically a maze, but not in like the traditional sense, I guess. adjusting my hand which makes my like vision move and I'm gonna walk right off the edge. No, this is a dead end, right? Maybe I should get more warframe quotes to use for my uh my alerts. Because I like warframe. Oh, lamb heads. It's a really weird thing to say out of context. I'm full on. full on friendship! Oh man. Billy and Mandy. That's a good show. Hey, dreamers. Nora Nightway. With that smooth voice. Though Nora could definitely, you know, afford to give me some more nitane extract, because that shit is hard to get. <laughs> Dead end. Okay. We're almost there. So why'd that count as safe level ground? <laughs> Dreamers. 
Okay. Uh, so let's go this way. I'm just going this way to see if there's like a, another permanent health buff or something. My favorite characters in Warframe are probably just Ve. I like Vehak a lot because he is. He yells a lot and it's really funny when he yells. Crunches. Ah shit. Okay. Um, how many? How many crunches is it? What is it? It's uh, ten crunches. All right. I'll be right back. Crunches. I gotta get like a DRB exercise thing. So hold on a second. Okay, I should reduce the cooldown on that because that's that's a long time to go between like five push-ups or ten crunches. I'm not that out of shape. So thank you for the exercise. That's one thing that I was really looking forward to with channel points was using that to like force people into giving, making me exercise because I'll just sit here and play a game. I like hyper focus on it and forget about any exercise. So, <sighs> All right. or I can increase the number. Either one. I'll probably reduce it to like five minutes. Well, it's, it's hard because I don't want the exercise to interrupt the stream as well. I don't have a ring fit. <gasps> is this witch gonna... Are you gonna be a nice witch? Her name is Grand... G G Glick Dinarg. I don't want to do it on camera because my room is a mess. You want to find a dimensional violator? You cannot stop Bretom Gnard, grandmother, from opening the door to the realm of Mare. Like, I have barely enough room with, like, stuff on the floor to, like, stretch out for my push-ups. So <laughs> I use... So I, I, I... I'm an original founder on Warframe. I have, like... I have, like, Excalibur Prime, and I have, like, every, almost every... Every... I have most of the frames in the game. Do you want to talk? Okay. But, uh... Let me see. Most of the frames... Although I think when I stopped playing, I was using... I'm primarily using Revenant, because Revenant's really fun. We're in the Dark Throth. Both of those are really good, yeah. Ooh. This game, once again, you know, proves to be very pretty. Yeah, right? I would like Octavia more if I could, you know, play more meme music without having to buy, like, music packs. Or, like, sound packs, you know, for her instrument. Like with the mandacord, there we go. Otherwise, I think my most played frame is Loki. I played Loki so much. But I play a lot of Revenant, because Revenant's really good. Um, yeah, mostly just Revenant, actually, because Revenant is like a, a nice, strong frame choice. Oh no. I don't like these. What are you? Can I, can I kill you? Okay, I can kill them. If I hit them. <laughs> Strong, like exercise. There we go. These little worms. Earthworms. I just like. I'm just devastating the local, like, scavenger fauna of Norway in this game. They don't like worms. 
Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, there's a lot of them. Worms. <laughs> Worms Armageddon. Worms Ragnarok. Hey. Ruby. Ah, oh, okay. I wonder if this is a good time for like this cross to they die in like one hit, maybe. Reload it. Come on, let's go, bitch. Okay, they die, they die in one hit. From the repeating crossbow. Sorry, the rotating crossbow. What's up here? What is that? I found an air supply mouthpiece. Oh, okay. I'm gonna be going underwater, I guess. That would be really nice to have. It's a repeating crossbow, so I guess it depends on what the definition of crossbow is. I don't know like what like the, the technical like what would consider it's a full semi-auto yeah this is definitely semi-auto like, I have this crossbow and I have um let me see and I have the invertebrate crossbow which is another like semi-auto one This one's a bit stronger. Fires a bit bigger bolts. Worms. Um, I think the bear crossbow is definitely much closer to like a, a traditional crossbow. The bear crossbow is like a 50 caliber crossbow in this game. Is what the equivalent of it is. Let's see what's in the hole. Oh, also, um, I added a link to my YouTube VOD playlist on my About section. Very loud. Let's not go in that hole. Nano Rymo, is that like, yeah, like November? Is that like the right, um, a book of November thing or whatever that is? Like the, the story for that? Like write short stories or something? That's okay, yeah. I, I recognized the acronym, I just didn't know what it was. Yeah, so like, this is, you know, if you want to compare like crossbows, we have, uh, we have like this one. And this is much closer to a traditional crossbow. Because you like shoot it. And then you gotta. Huh. There we go. The crossbow from Half Life is a lot more. Boom. A, that is a very... I love the sound of the crossbow in Half-Life. Half-Life 2. Hey, it's a doggy. What's up, dog? Seen the maelstrom? And I know what you then thought. I want to jump into that. Actually, to beat the maelstrom, that's something you need to defeat. Uh, Retom Nar. But wait, my eager employee. We'll need an air spy to survive. I'm near taking a mouthpiece. Then locate a hole on the other side of the bridge. Pull the air spy and jump into the river below you. Yeah, he's the wolf on top. Doggy. Oh, I went to the uh, I went the wrong way first, but like the right wrong way. Uh oh, okay, now I need to go back, back down there. That down, this down. 
Oh my dog! Oh, I need a thing that has rats, like a video of rats, like boggling rats. Just have cute rat picture or cute rat video as a as a redeem. It's a big hole. It's so loud! <laughs> yeah, I don't have Gachi uh, on my better Twitch TV. I am ready to ready to enter hole. Oh no. Toilet time. Is <laughs> it try tongue butthole or whatever? They're spinning! Alright, well that's really loud. So we'll just wait for this to go through. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that was it. Easy. <laughs> hey, youths. Reaper Leviathan. Did you ever see the ghost Leviathans? Those are really good, too. <laughs> What's in this bottle? <sighs> you are here to make a weapon to defeat the old witch. Find the birch stem. A tree swept down by the current should lie And find a bow from someone dead. Nails fastening are in the bottle. With that complete, swing over the void and find another world as well. There, you will go fishing. I'll not hoist you up until you have finished the weapon. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I say. Subnautica is such a good game, but I love Subnautica. Deep underwater, swimming with the monsters. <laughs> Subnautic That song is stuck in my head so easily. Uh, very catchy. I like the only song I had in Below Zero for a while, and it played non-stop while I was like building my base. It like drilled itself deep into my brain. I don't know man, I gotta I gotta look more more I can Look through some. Oh. 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 Stop. Okay. I'll look at. I'll look for more emotes. I. I didn't. You know. I didn't really expect to. You know. Get. Solved that much. You know. Uh, the way it that quick. So. I just kind of didn't really put a bunch of emotes. I put like fun ones like Monka, and you know Rat Jam. Of course, there's Rat Jam in here. Yeah. Oh no, I made a mistake with that. <laughs> yeah, I mentioned getting like a like a low poly uh, like 3D model of like the fair, and I got slammed so hard that I like, ended up with like I deleted the tweet. People would like not. They wouldn't leave me alone. Like, that was a mistake. Never again. They really are. Yeah, yeah. 
Thirsty for those credit card details, you know? <laughs> well, you know, the new he's an artist. And then uh, Drake Venn is also an artist. <laughs> Get him! Uh, there's so many artists that you like. You can get those from Crab Rope. I don't want to drop. Why do I have to drop like this? <laughs> Ooh. Okay. This would be a great shirt. I need this on a shirt. <laughs> I love seeing those on like NFTs and then seeing the bot just so cluelessly like reply to it like, oh here it's on my store, limited it's on store, limited supply. Dab rat would be fun. Is this? I need what? I staff the rope. Okay, well, I want. Oh, there we go. How far does it go? I'm sure the staff won't be weird or fucked up. I'm half bot. If you look the way I, I retweet shit nonstop. I'm also half cyborg, yeah, that's me. Bottom half cyborg. <gasps> Snakes! Yo, worm staff! I want this. Yeah, I got a little snakies. Hi, snakes. Oh, okay, it hurts me. I got a sneaky staff. Look at them go. They're like my friends. This game is great. I want to save. Can I save right here? No, this is a black bomba. Or it's a black racer. Faint voice. Hold on. Look at these little guys. I don't know exactly what it does, other than it hurts me. I think it's a double sided snake. It's hard to tell from the looks of it. Put him away. Yeah. 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 Seven, seven, seven. I honestly go for it. Spam some stupid shit. Just do it. What a nice staff I have guided you to make. The first time is only something to grab onto. The bow and with the bait. It will strike you when you tell it to you. If you hit anything living, it will draw life from it into yourself. Should you miss, it will take some of your life. The living bridge between life and death. Use the worms that leech your life away. Other weapons will not bite. Snakes will never lend you a hand. That's right. Okay. So, I think the snakes are connected. Because if I hit an enemy, it drains health, which is nice. Dark throws. Quick save. Okay. Ah. I'm gonna go. Uh. Okay, what's the range on this thing? Yum, yum, yum. 
Strong. Also, the range on the snake thing is not very obvious. Deep rope. Great. It? Today is the uh, 20th anniversary of Metal Gear Solid 2. I saw a post that was about like ominous, uh, ominous optimism. It's like good things are coming. You can't stop them. Like stuff like that. <laughs> Those are really. That's really funny. It's like a little fucking gremlin. Badger, badger, badger. <laughs> How did that not hit? How does this thing work? Yeah. First hit on her. Okay, so it's a melee weapon pretty much. Worms. Don't worry, just buy a house with the uh your the inheritance your inheritance from your parents. It's that easy. I only know how to rent. I only know rented avocado toast, sorry. Worm time. Take a moment of worm time to heal. Crazy, look at him go. Oh. oh, how did I miss it right there? That's where I'm timing in. I don't have any worms left. I'm dying. Maybe kill these. I'm so close to killing her. She's really fast. <laughs> no, my snake staff is dead. That was my favorite weapon. I like that. Sorry, we can't respond to check because I was busy not dying. So you get, you're not really, you're not, you're not true boomers, you know, none of us are, because you don't look at a, uh, like a, a minions meme and be like, 
Oh, it's so funny. People like lose their mind, like 40 year old, like moms. Yeah, that like lose their mind at a, <laughs> at minion memes. Just funnier than the meme itself. Well, this place looks pleasant. I found the village idiot's pants. Snick, I found your pants. You haven't even seen any of the NPCs, Impulse. Like, the NPCs in this game are whack. They're awesome. Hey, father, we should get some Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi? I already got a Wi-Fi. Hey. <laughs> I love those memes. It's just fucking dumb. Uh. Waka waka. Alright, where am I going? More health. This, I, I, don't, I can't... I can't jump over there. I can go up here. Well, his his item was in his pants. Or that one of the dimensional uh, violators was in the pants, but I guess he lost it. Hey, what you got? What's that? There's a key ahead to the cabin. Is it a bit too easy? It is. The cabin's actually a trap. Made feeding something from another realm. This entity comes through a dimensional violator that rips his open. Take this stone. It has magical runes, staves. Engraved with protection. Use it to stop her when you're here. Okay. I got a rock. A special engraving. <laughs> the really like creepy weird minion memes. Nice and easy. Whoa. I'll take a nap. All right, nap time, everyone. Shh, I'm sleeping. What's coming? Did it just fall? Wait, where is it going? What's happening? How do I use this stuff? Oh, okay. Yeah, get out of here. That was confusing. <laughs> Alright, time to get away. I gotta find the violator. <laughs> Look at it. Wow, cool NFT. There is very fast. Where is it? It's turned into a horror game. Cool NFT, bro. Kissing.
Did I miss this one? Huh? Okay, so there's another ad coming in about 20 minutes. I know, right? Terrifying, terrifying thing here. So I'm like, I'm like rearranging my control panel. Random hat. Okay, cool. I can do this. It's hat time. I have something set up for this. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay. I hope it works. Cause I got it set up specifically for this. Uh, okay. And let's see if this wheel spins. All right, we're getting the Lynx helmet out. All right. Give me a minute where I, I equip the helmet. Uh, so. <laughs> the sound that you hear is me. Uh, that was me. Just going over and over again. Well, me, I, I recorded myself doing it once. Uh, I gotta get my helmet on. Uh, hmm. I am already, I'm already the demon. I oh, know the rats are in the way. Rats, get out of the way. I have to hide the rats right now with the helmet on. Uh, let's see. Okay. Now let me see, should I have the radio filter on for the helmet or no? I don't know if it'd be annoying for a game like this. I'm getting that set up. Give me a second. I gotta like line it up correctly. No, okay. Helmet equipped. All right. Now we're Norway. Now we're prepared for Norway. Back to game. It's not main menu at this time. All right, helmet active. Get yourself some revenues, hell yeah. You can't be Vieira without Vieira. Uh, you missed it uh, the other day, Impulse. I was playing uh, Shipbreaker. I had this helmet on. I had a nice, a nice voice filter. I thought that was really fun. I think it works because I have a I have like a lifetime subscription to uh, the voice mod. Try to get some use out of it, you know. <laughs> Got it. Oh, I love the helmet. The helmet is uh that's from Drake. Uh, Drake Ven did a good job. You can even see the, the name. You can see on the forehead there's a it says stick. Trebum on the bottom, which I love, at the neck. This game does so much crazy shit. Like, yesterday we had a spot where we, were, we went like into a lake. We had like a, like a almost like a soma experience. And that was really cool. So the demon, so the that that hut that I took a nap in is uh the witches built it to feed this creature, which is named Mare. Uh, and it's from another dimension. And they would let people sleep there so they would get eaten by it. And it came through with a dimensional violator. So now I'm just trying to get through the area so it doesn't eat me. Without getting eaten. I don't know if that's necessary, Mayor. Well, so I could walk on part of the tree, but then I fell through it. I'll have to go through that whole part again. Damn it. Alright, we'll be more careful next time. Oh, 
can always speedrun it. No, I know the right way to go. Go away. This game has a lot of really good stuff. Uh, I'm not fond of like the uh, how some of the saving works. Like there's no checkpoints, you have to manually save yourself, which is fine. But areas like this, it's like a very long segment. You know, dying, going back to getting in any game. So. <laughs> Obviously, the, the secret is just to get good, but you know, not everyone can be a professional gamer like me. Not everyone's pro gamer, you know. Absolute. Remember that one? Attack and I got hit by uh, I got attacked by Gonark in uh, Black Mesa, and I, you know, swung all the way around the jump when it knocked me off the edge, and I used you know Half-Life jump physics to land back on the ground. Professional move right there. And then I like fell in a hole afterwards, but it was you know that was cool at least. Hey gamers, want some free shit? Fistful of Frag is a really fun game, too. I love that game. Hey, game! Ah, uh, what a dumb fucking segment that was, too. Yeah, here in my stream, I play video games and talk about other streamers, because hell yeah, that's fun. It's still a fun game. <laughs> What do you got to say? It's like Vandal Party to turn sound. Turn off the turn screen. Face the portal. Right, come on, Mayor. Ghostbusters! I did it! Whoa. Easy. No, you're not killing friends, you're utilizing friend points to uh, leverage your relationship with Red Friend. You're not killing friends. It's like um, like a social link in Persona, you know? I've never actually played for some. <laughs> I know, granite cash. Red friend, red friend inf investments. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for coming by. Where is exploring Norway? No, my death counts are, I'm at like 50, what am I at, like 45 deaths now? So I'm ridiculous. I've died a lot. And I will continue to die. I think I'm, I'm almost like, I gotta be close to 50. Sourwood? No, let's not go to Sourwood yet. Let's see what's up here. Well, what's our goals right now? Find a doppelganger in the mountains. All right. We need to find a doppelganger here. What's wrong with my left arm? Uh, it's a janky game. That's what's wrong with my left arm. Shooting a bow is very difficult. Because <laughs> it takes up like most of the screen. Otherwise a lot of things are wrong with this game. You know. We're in Norway, first of all. That's the biggest one. Hey bud. 
I see you wandering by. You can give me the Dimensional Violator and Runestone back now. This path leads to the mountain. Sucking Dimensional Violators on a glacier. A terror sucks anyone traveling here dry. The terror is a well-fed family of troll fighters. A cup and paper will not work. Do not want to eat any... Do not eat a lot of insects in your house. We eat the inhabitants. So please kill the queen, her two lovers, and all the spiders. Wow. That sounds easy, I guess. Oh yeah, I imagine this is what Norway is like right this very second. This game is to take place in some fantasy version of Norway. This is like Norway, like 2020, like one. <laughs> Anything down here? I just jump off for no reason. I don't think there's anything actually down here. Well, there's more down here. Oh. No, there's that one. I'm gonna die. No, okay. I'm trying to find secrets. Sometimes the ground does not look very, or the ground is significantly less stable than it looks. I have slipped my death many times. <laughs> it's all that moss. This is like death stranding. I gotta have better boots. Whew. Speaking of, I still want death stranding. Uh, director's got on PC. So stream that. Up here? Okay. One way ride to Mountain Valley. The police sounds like it's screaming. Uh. <laughs> See, this looks like a part in that. This is the beginning of Death Stranding, actually. Like one of the, uh, one of the first series ago. Lots of mountains. Probably, honestly, probably close enough to Death Stranding. The mole? Mole rat some kind. <laughs> oh, scratching my neck. Alright. Is there a secret? Ah. Here's a secret. There we go. The 128 permanent health. I'm waiting for like the next enemy to pop up. Oh, there they are. What is it? Some kind of horse flies? Beetles? Bees? Oh, there's a lot of bees. Yeah, it's bees. Grab it! <laughs> What's wrong with Cazadors? They're not that bad. They're just like big bugs. Bitch. Ah, oh, of course you dodge. There we go. I know. So when I take a break next, I'm probably gonna take a minute and just readjust the timings on the uh, on the channel point rewards. I don't know if that'll reset the cooldowns on them. If it does, feel free to you know to use them again. If it doesn't, you know. Deal with it. <laughs> I had them a bit higher because I thought, you know, they would be more disruptive than they were, but I guess they are disruptive, but they don't. 
that noise. What? Spitting bugs at me. Oh. Cassadors are fast and they're hard to hit. I was mostly joking on saying they're not that bad. Yeah, they are the worst. <laughs> they're probably one of the worst enemies in the game. Everyone likes Death Claws, but I think there's a lot of people that think Death Claws are like. Well, they're cool. Stop spitting shit at me. Are you? Yeah, we can like we can get past the uh the explode. Ow. Woo. Can I kill you? Ow. Ow. Yeah, like death claws are dangerous because they're big. Yeah, they have a lot of health. But the thing is, they're big. You can hit them. Cassadors are fast. Cassadors are fast and they hurt. Bear crossbow for this. <laughs> Stop it! Ooh. There's a lot of bugs. Fifty, the big five O. Oh. Yeah, humiliated. The game is not very nice to you. Well, let's go invert a bit faster. This game probably messes with a lot of phobias because there's a lot of uh. Oh shit. Stop it. There's a lot of spiders in this game. Like a lot of spiders. This game's awesome. Like the, the graphics aren't amazing, but it's like an awesome game. <laughs> I've had a lot of fun with it. It's very weird. Alright, bitches, come on, let's go. Nah. Ooh, got an explode. Okay, got it, got it. Got him that time. Go get some of this. <laughs> yeah, so this game is, if I weren't here earlier, is a northern journey. I'm in Norway, and I'm, uh, I guess, the start of the game, you're rowing your boat past the, the shore, and you're complaining you're lost, and then someone shoots holes in your boat. And you can't swim, so you get to shore. And this guy with the flute, it's like, oh, wow, looks like someone shot a hole in your boat. That's convenient for me. And he asks, he, uh, he kind of forces you to go look for these uh, dimensional violators that you know, someone stole from him. And this whole journey is about that. 
and a lot of weird stuff, but like in a fun way. Can't save during interactions. What am I interacting? Yeah, Snake Staff was fun. I got two really cool weapons and they both broke. <gasps> I recognize this area. Okay. I saw someone streaming this game in this place now. It suddenly came back to me. Alright, yeah, I've seen this game a little bit. I think I watched Tomato play it a tiny bit. Are you guys are you guys hostile? What are, what are you? I don't know if it's dangerous or not. I guess not. I shot it a few times. One of the few non-dangerous like insects I found so far. And he's like, you can't hit me, bitch, dumbass. Like, no, please. My self-esteem. They seem harmless. Shot like crazy. There we go. I'm assuming this water is deadly deep. Yeah. Yes, it was. Now we know. So when the water is like, when you're near water, there's supposed to be like a green or like a, a red circle on it. It'll tell you if it's like deadly deep or not. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Maybe it wasn't dead. I, I was wrong. It was indeed very deadly. What's the health? Probably not a good sign. Some leaky water. Got oh. him. The boss is water. The boss is water. fell down. There was no boss. Just the threat of drowning in cold water. I missed the boss. That's why you're the best. Hell yeah. I'm almost at 130. I like these like non-dangerous bugs. That's so nice. It's one of the, the few things that have not tried to kill me. <coughs> Whee! Ow. I didn't take any damage. I don't know what's going through my guy's head. <laughs> oh. Oh. Alright, so there's snakes. Now there's water snakes. But 
thought I was in a decent spot, and then I got bit. Bad. Oh. Okay. I guess I can't really make that jump. <laughs> it's fine. I don't need it that bad. Spider time. A cocoon of some kind. Can I break it? No. Where is the spider? Ah, oh. you bastard. Oh, no. Got some spears, some javelins. Of course, that's gonna be tart. I guess we're going down. I wonder if I can get that health thing up there. Yo, it's Arum Vale, the best dungeon in Final Fantasy XIV. Oh no. I don't like that. Oh! Hello, spiders! They're very large spiders. This is the boss. <laughs> Ow. Okay. I missed with a spear! Again! Oh god, they dodge and I hate it. What are you doing? Get, get, get. What are you doing? Get down from there. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe I can get that health then. I didn't know what to expect from that fight. Oh, that's the troll spiders. That's those are the two bosses that I need to. Okay. Now I go out here and save. Yeah. So I have to kill these those two. We are going to equip the axe, spear, do this. I'm not using this thing very much anymore. Let's see what we get. It's the troll spider and the lover. Do a stupid dodge dance, I hate it. And they all have a lot of health. Okay, 
the baby's dying. That's good. Dex builds. Disgusting. Okay, I killed the babies. Make things a little easier, hopefully. Less things hitting me. Less like targets absorbing hits. I had like an explosive, that'd be really cool. Let's go for like some suicide drones or not high explosives of any kind at the moment. I think I got the space helmet on. <laughs> Whoa! They shot all the babies at me. Okay, okay. I like concentrating to try and <laughs> not die. Woo. Ow. Ah, oh, they are hurting a lot. Stop being jerked. Go away. Okay, maybe I can just throw some axes at him. I'm gonna get caught on geometry, I might be okay. <laughs> Stop dancing! Okay, that's one dead. Simple jump. Okay, okay, so... The child has been killed. Or a child has been killed. There's one more. Stop it! Stop it! They're very dodgy. Alright, all the babies dead. The next one, we'll go for swords. Uh-oh. No, don't kill me like that. Don't do that. I'm very lame to die like that. There's no melee weapons in this game. Even the sword is like a ranged weapon. Yes, I'm throwing swords at it. <laughs> There's no melee in this game. Shit, I need, uh, I need something. Okay, we'll do, we'll do this. Okay, Brad, we got them. We got the big ones. Okay, where's the. Okay, quick flip this. Missed. Alright, so we have crossbow, crossbow, crossbow. This is here, sling. Okay. okay, come on. Spears. <laughs> Why are you upside down? Why are you doing this? Alright, give me a chance to get some healing. Okay. Okay. I think I'm. Oof! Bad spider! Okay, almost got it. What hope do I have against something that. 
you know, defies the laws of the earth itself. Whew. That was a fight. That's one of the fights in the game that really sucks, because if you die, you have to do like the whole thing over again. What do we got? Yeah, spiders and swords are natural, you know, <laughs> natural enemies. It's just the rules of nature, you know? <laughs> I want to stream that at some point too. It's a stupid game. I love it. I was thinking earlier that there should they need to make like a, Re a Resident Evil game that's like Metal Gear Rising, but you play as Wesker. Beautiful dead spiders. And you thought you deserved the rest. Not yet. Told about the catapult tower down this valley. Place an aid along the way. As a concerned player, I am. Can you complete the work I need? The bear crossbow should be your best friend for us. If you're lucky, your face will get some shrapnel reorganization. I'm glad that he's concerned for my safety. I'm not gonna go down here. I'd probably drop off here and maybe grab something. No secrets? Alright. I thought I was gonna fall to my death. Some bear crossbow bolts. And I'll put this back here. Reload my crossbow. Alright. The glacier. We're at a good spot. See how we do. Oh god, that's a lot of crap. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, that was a uh, that was a spam. I know what look. I know what they look like though now, so I can I think I can snipe them. There we go. Give myself a slight head start. In the last for the last one. It sure sucks not being able to swim. God, there's so many of them. God, they keep popping up too. These ones over here. And one. We'll get this one on the left. Alright, go back and get some ammo. Grab some health. <laughs> There's probably another vault over here somewhere, no? Ow! We cleared out a bunch of them, so that'll be easier. I don't know how feasible it would be to like, actually speed up the game. I mean, speedrunners will, you know, speed will find a way. That's what they do, but...
I, I think this game is also relative. I don't know how, how new this game actually is. But it's not it's not big. It might not be big in the scene yet. It'd be fun to try and like this would be a game where you could, you know, start to establish a speedrun. Start, you know, set the record, and then everyone else can beat it for you. I don't think I can speed run this game. There's too much crazy shit going out. Yeah, that's not the fate of a lot of indie games like this, where they just, you know, they go un, you know, untouched by so many people. When they're like perfectly good games. <laughs> Aha! I have the real record! You know, by default. Through a lack of contest. God, there's, so, there's so many of them. Like the half-life scientist, like, like, can't even can't even anticipate that. You know, that's how, that's how I feel. I am surrounded, and I'm dead. The, the Half-Life 1 scientist, like, stop, is so good. Yeah, like, we had out a big, a big chunk of them already, so. I almost got that one. There we go, got that one. Yeah, I bet you can just do crazy stuff. I don't even like know how ridiculous the physics in this game are. Most of my experience with the physics are uh, antagonistic. Probably the best way to put it. You don't really get along. save again. <laughs> anyway, I've done a bunch of it, but I want to do it again. Gain some extra healing that I missed. God, how many of them are there? It also doesn't help that there's this death river in the middle of this fight. long time without hitting me and then they'll land a bunch of shots.
We're good. We're making it. We're making it. We're making it. And I'm gonna run back and go uh, quick save. <gasps> I thought I was gonna miss the jump. Asshole. We're good. All right, quick save. Time. We gotta be getting close to wiping them off. And how many more can there possibly be? Ah. Enough of them. Certainly enough of them. There's only like three or four though. Oh wait, maybe the last one? Yep, that was the last one. First try. <laughs> God, I'm good at this game. I am just so good. Sounds so full of myself like that. Let's go. Quick save for the jump, in case I inevitably just forget to hit jump. I'm waiting for more of them, honestly. Um, I thought about that, but I don't have a good way to actually stack them on top of each other. Because they're not, they're not made for that kind of, like, they're not designed with that kind of thing in mind. When I get, if I get, like, a better, um, like, avatar program, I'll probably try it. But the way I have it now, it's really simple. So, once I get something else set up. I'll probably give that a shot because I don't want to be I want to be able to like tilt and roll them on and stuff like that but with the uh, the browser source that I'm using for them you can't do a whole lot with it so it's functional but it's about it can't really expect a whole much a whole lot more from it okay cool that's where I was early Where does that go? Can I use this? Or... One way ride to Mare Bog Watchtower. No, that's not. We already went to Mare Bog. We can go up here. In fact, there's more... Ah, you little shit. I knew it. I was say, I, because I'm picking up more of these bear um, bolts, I'm like, I feel like there's gonna be more catapults than before I could finish the thought. I saw them. I really thought it would be that easy. see them. Whoa. Ow. And that one's gone. How are you hitting me like that? God, you guys are really good at that. They're very good at angling. Oh, there's more. Ooh. I 
cut that off really bad. Please stop the bombs. I've asked you nicely. It's Northern Journey. It takes place in Norway. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. It's just a <laughs> It's weird and wonderful. I just enjoy it because it has like very it has very pretty like scenery for what it like it looks very good like, uh, environmentally. Uh it's not, you know, top tier graphics, but it's got, you know, fun. Where are you shooting me from, you fucker? Oh, up there. Like, everything is designed, it, I guess, how it's, like, supposed to be. I don't know, it's not trying to be the prettiest game in existence or anything like that. So. I don't know like how many people work on this, if it's like a you know a two person game or something, or like you know one or one man dev. Oh, I was like, what is that? What do you got to say, Raven? The mountain path is on the water bridge up ahead. Just some random fun fact. Dark magic happened on the wet meadow you have to cross. Trolls were spliced to spiders. It was done by a cult or should be a deity in the pedestal. Who is stupid enough to believe that? Hypothetically, killing trolls for spiders should prove more efficient. I promise. As the last living in everything spiders you may meet in this world. Hmm. I'll have to kill troll spiders. Map update. Hey, we're almost at the top part of the map. We're making. I have a lot of ammo. <clears throat> I was getting my gun out. All right. It's definitely unique, and I think for the price, which is like 15 bucks, I think you get, I'm getting my money's worth. I got it as a gift, but I think I would still be getting my money's worth from it. Y'all haven't even seen a town. The town, well, you see more people in the town, and then things happen in the story. <laughs> now the town isn't doing so hot. Oh! More spiders. No spiders. No spiders. I think something is shooting, whipping spiders at me. What are you doing? like heartless. <laughs> I don't like these things. They're like spawning enemies forever. Okay. If I kill them, maybe they... Okay, okay. There's a big thing. Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Please. 
There's another one. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, this place sucks. This place sucks. There's like lots of enemies, and they spawn more enemies. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to kill him. Let's see. Air crossbow. What should I do? to deal with these things. Okay. Okay, these are the troll spiders that we're talking about, actually. I want to be the help. Okay. I think that's all of them, finally. I need to use this bow, because oh, that water is almost too deep. Stop it! Stop! <laughs> I think I got them all, finally. I think I got enough of it to be very manageable. Holy shit. That sucked. I used a lot of uh, resources there. Whew. I can go grab some more uh, healing and stuff, I guess, that I missed. I don't think they spawned unlimited enemies, but they may as well have. With the amount of them that were spawning there. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's that Norway luck. I'm, I'm, you know, streaming the luck from Norway to you. The luck of whatever the fuck these things are, really. Hot throwing spears, cool. The, the main sources of goodies. I got swords. I never use the bow. <laughs> Mostly because the bow takes up most of my screen, so it's hard to really see anything. Am I full on axes? I am full on axes. Go. All right. It's down here. Haha. <laughs> I knew there had to be something. Up to one thirty. We're doing good. Off we go. Hypothermia waste. Well, that sounds good. So this place will be pleasant. I think I got the space suit on, right? <sighs> Alright, what do we got? I 
think there's like one more zone after this. The doppelganger is up here, and he has he's looking for one of the dimensional violators. Almost done. Then after we find the Bell. Oh. Well, I didn't think I was supposed to like I felt like I was supposed to get on it, but I, I didn't want to fall through the floor. <laughs> Yeah, um, are you using like an NVIDIA card? Because one of the games I stream, yeah, so yeah, because I was, I was streaming, and I streamed I think AVP, like, the original AVP game, you have to limit the FPS. Or AV One of the games is limit F I think AVP too actually. It's limit FPS, otherwise it, like all the cutscenes get all uh, you know, pissed off because doesn't you're going twice the speed the game intends you to. Ah, I knew there'd be another secret here. 131? More arrows that I never use. What is rats? Is there actually a rat sim game? Or are you talking about like Warhammer Total War 2 as a Skaven? On Steam. What is this rat sim? I have to investigate. Rats. There is rats in there. There's two of them. Pest man alert. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on my wish list. <laughs> uh, that looks really dumb. This is a New York rat simulator. In a world bound by the very laws of traffic, one rat has been chosen. Roam the streets of New York, imbued with unnatural jumping ability. You can now desert the very fabric of society, collect pizza slices, and name the glorious Rat King to summon a dark eldritch being of New York. That's a fucking weird game. <laughs> hey, I'm squeaking here! Give me the pizza! I almost got like, that was like Italian New York, which is very similar. This is a very pretty looking game. Like this, the environments are, are like simple, but they look nice. I guess this, this isn't one of the prettiest ones. Earlier, like yesterday, was pretty good. There were some really good vistas. When can I quick save? Can I quick save here? There we go. Let me actually save my game too. Here. You are still alive! Very practical for me, and maybe even for yourself. You need to reach the Wind Torn Rope Bridge. So far, it is so far in the cold mountains. So fly there with the scrappy old kite up ahead. Use the old flag tower's way from. You gain height, dive hard momentarily to increase speed, and fly upwards slowly. Repeat when speed is low. Follow the speed indicator. Congratulations, here's your pilot license. To land, you need to crash into a net like one above you, behind me. There's a spiky rock halfway where you may land, and save your nerves a bit. 
I guess I'm playing... Hey, Technic, what's up? Thanks for coming by. You did find me. I guess we're playing um, Norway Flight Simulator. Okay, uh, here we go. This game is crazy. I didn't expect like a flight, <laughs> like a flight in it. <laughs> What's the ground? Do I die? Yeah. <laughs> I guess the answer is yes. I almost forgot to grab the kite. Alright, and die! Yeah, I shouldn't have dived that much, but now I have to... I'm gonna circle around to get myself some speed. There's some altitude. So what's up, Tech Knight 22? How are you doing? First time chatter. I think one more, one more loop, and I should have enough altitude. All right. It's almost like Viking space program. Hey, thanks for the thanks. Uh, Took a, it was a, a lot of help from a lot of people, you know, so. Definitely not the thing to do, you know, do by myself. So. A lot of people, you know, helping out, sharing tips, gears, you know, raids. Yeah. Gotta go find all the ether points. It's easy enough to put in enough effort, you know, you just gotta keep going. The hardest part about getting, like, affiliate, and I think just streaming in general, is keeping, like, a positive attitude. Because it can really easily feel like you're not going anywhere. Especially if, like, things get crazy or busy in, in, like, in real life. I need to find a net so I can land. Honestly, I still did not expect a flying segment in this game. <laughs> Although all the snow is making my... Let me see how dirty my screen is. ATS, what's ATS? Alright, well, thanks for coming by, Snick. Appreciate the sub, you know, and for coming by as always. So, I'll see you around. Take care. You know, good luck with your move. You know, calm your nerves some. <laughs> Thank you for the follow attack. Thing. Oh, yeah, okay. I can't get into those like uh, those truck sim games. Like I've tried. I got um like I I bought like Euro Truck Sim. I tried playing it. It just I don't like driving in real life, so I don't I don't think I like. That's probably why those are hard for me to get into. But they're I mean I don't they're they're like one of those fun games where like, you just sit there, stream, you chat with people that come by. One of those like relaxing kind of background games.
Yeah. Oh, this this bridge looks safe. It's like it's like elite dangerous without you know like the the fun of a. Uh... This game is something else. This is it's called Northern Journey. It's a it's a trip. It keeps throwing new stuff at me, which is oh, this looks safe. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Let's try something new. Um. Actually, I don't know if I can actually walk across this. I think I have to use the glider. Okay, yeah, let's try this. Um, people don't have many points, but let's try this. We can start a poll. Uh, let me get a poll set up, because that sounds fun. Let's use these new tools that I got. Yeah, let's start up a poll. Alright, so I'm going to get this poll set up, and I'm going to run an ad. That way it kind of pushes the ad back. So, be back in like a minute. Um, take a quick break, you know, get some water, stretch your legs, grab a snack. Be back in a minute. Um, so, sorry, we're back from the, back from the ad. Uh, I'm using Streamlabs OB, OBS, or Slobs, um, S-L-O-B-S, which works pretty well. It's, yeah, Slobs, wah, but, uh, I like it. It works out for the most part. Um, I only have a few issues with it now and then, mostly involves on, like, how it's kind of janky and a few things, but it, it's functional. It does what I want, so. 
you guys got a lot of faith. At least someone believes in me. <laughs> Look at this bridge, though. That's totally safe. Oh yeah, while this is going on, I can change some uh, some channel point stuff. Adjust some prices on it. Uh, channel points. The ye of little. I I guarantee I'm gonna fall to my death at least once, but <laughs> we'll see. I hope that I don't. I'm gonna try not to. Alright, we'll do uh ten minute cooldown. I'm gonna adjust the. Exercise one. Okay, exercise done. Ex extra, this extra hat. Random hat, 750. We'll change that to. Ten minute cooldown. Save. Imbibe. No one's wanted me to drink water yet, so let's reduce that price. We'll leave resolution adjustment how it is. That's good. Okay. There we go. Oops. We'll go back to slobs. Four times. Okay. <laughs> Got investment friends. Well, look, I reduced a lot of the prices. So I think some of them should be off cooldown and such. So if you want, I can go do that. I mean, imbibe, you know, drink water. Uh, a random hat. Alright, so, four times. Let's see. Let's see what I can do here. Here we go. Oh, I should've... That's a prediction thing. Oh, well, I'll do predictions next time. Hey, there's some there's a there's a sign on there. Woo! <laughs> this is a very well placed sign. He's beginning to believe. The haunted glacier. This doesn't sound bad. <laughs> oh. Easy. Five, eight, nine. Five, eight, nine. Oh, okay. Uh, wait, okay, so. No, wait. I gotta play the flute. How do I play the flute? Okay, no, wait. Okay. That's the mouse button. You would have done it. You would have. I'll do predictions next time. I, I, I forgot predictions were a thing compared to a poll. Also, I thought that was going to be a much longer bridge. <laughs> Knock. Hey, come in. Why are you here? At the door. It's very cold outside, you know. Your friend, Doppelganger, is on top of the glacier, where the dimensional violator is located. And now you do not mind leaving this cozy warm room to climb the dark ice mountain instead. Sure, it might be haunted, but coldness from beyond did not drastically reduce the already horrible chill effect. Black entities are native here, cannot be damaged. Avoid them. White entities under the hand, are hung by a Doppelganger. Those need to fight. Alright, so I can't hurt the black ones, but I can kill the white ones. Let's get out of here.
gonna kill the evil spirits. I wish they could like keep so like there's um there's an ad manager that you can you can have on your like stream um like preview or whatever on the Twitch website, but I can't get it on slobs. So I I try to like snooze the uh the ad if I remember to check it, but I always forget to. So if I ear randomly get slammed by an ad. Uh, let me know. You can't even hurt me, idiot. All right, we got you. Look at him, cross the bolts. Ah. Nine, six, seven. Ooh. A lot of ghosts. Nine, six, seven. Nine, six, seven. I will toot as I please. We gotta be getting close to the end. Because there's only... I have one dimensional violator, and I'm working on the second one right now. Some of them is fun. Okay, yeah, I went like I, I spawned like all of them at once instead of some of them at once. <laughs> this is much more manageable. Hmm. 
Is there a better way to fight these? There's snow and ice and people who are crying. Are screaming. So these things are tough. That's the issue I'm running into here. Yeah, the bow one shot them is just kind of slow, and there's a lot of them. <laughs> and I can't go too far forward, I'm gonna spawn more in the... Ow. Alright, maybe if I try, like, some of these really strong weapons. Throwing axe. Use the bow. Stop it. <laughs> and there's these little other ones that also hurt. <laughs> okay. Yeah. God damn it. Okay. Doing better. Here comes the entire horde of them. Group is done. <laughs> How many more are there? <coughs> okay, I think. <coughs> Where do I go from here? Oh, it's climb up here. I forgot these deaths. That was like what? At least three or four deaths. Why is it not counting my deaths anymore? The bot. The bot die. I guess my bot is not. Or the night bot might be dead. <laughs> night bot has been slain. See what Nightbot's doing. What are we up to? Thirteen. We only got like four commands today. 
Top command of death. Yeah. I don't know. I guess he's not. I guess Deathbot doesn't want to. Doesn't want to talk anymore. Oh yeah, I got too many deaths, and he got angry and tired of it. Don't die. Okay. Let's climb up this again. What the heck did Deathbot do? Did I say Deathbot? Nightbot. Might as well be Deathbot, that's what he's doing. Big ghosts. Ouch. One nine five for the fruit. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> there we go. more healing back here. Make all the big ghosts mad. Oh yeah, I want to play I want to try shooting golden light. Because that game is weird. I gotta check its like early access status because that game wasn't well done when I played it. But that was part of the fun. That's a weird one. Golden light is wild because like your weapons that can be like alive. You can also eat anything. You can like eat your weapon to heal yourself. Unless your weapon's like if your weapon's rotten, you'll get food poisoning, which is funny too. Hello children, I guess. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Ow. I got some arrows. I actually need arrows. <laughs> Up we go. Great, I want that. Uh, it shows like, the ammo I have for the item I've equipped, but I forget sometimes. I'm like, Oh shit. Okay, uh, I think I might die. Yeah. Maybe Deathbot or Nightbot will wake up for enemy. I think Nightbot does this sometimes. Is Nightbot in the chat? <gasps> That's why. Nightbot isn't even in the chat anymore. What happened to Nightbot? Anyone that uses Nightbot, you know why he does this sometimes? Nightbot didn't even do anything. I was chatting with like Snack the other day on his on his stream, and I posted a link because I was a sub, like a subscriber there. Um, he deleted the link and then everything I ever said in the chat. <laughs> You're gonna be an asshole, Snackbot. <laughs> Why did you do that? Everything that I've ever said, it deleted it.
Yeah. Snuck flat with a dick. You made him better, but I haven't had a chance to see him. <laughs> he was being me. Like, I'm a, a subscriber and everything. I hope so. Must be Norwegian Halloween. God damn it. Did you hear Nightbot? No. I wonder if Nightbot's down. That happens sometimes. Nightbot isn't even in the chat. I've looked at it. <laughs> Dang, Nightbot. How far did we fall? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was trying to say, go up here and save so this animation again, but... Save. You have to be on safe ground to save. That's only fair. Damn it. So like the like the enemy ghosts only come out once you go so far. But they also come out in mass and like if you step a little bit too far, you'll set them up the entire hill for the area. Which sucks. Yeah, I got him. If I sound like I'm yelling, sorry. It's very loud. <laughs> These things are. Are these like my little helpers? Okay, cool. Look at them go. I don't know what these are, but they keep following me. <laughs> Is that flute boy up top? Why is he up there? That doesn't sound like flute boy. Okay, well I appreciate you coming by and I appreciate the sub. Uh, so, you know, thanks a lot. And hopefully I'll see you around. Hopefully, you know, you start dreaming again sometime soon. You know, I'll see you too. So, have a good sleep. Take care. So we got to be getting close to the end of this game. I don't know how close, but I got to be very close. That's a little creepy looking thing. You go away. <laughs> Ow. That doesn't hurt that much. Either. The creepier looking minute is dangerous. What's in the hole? Axes. This is the right way to go. So let's go back and see if I can get like more uh, like healing. Or, like more permanent health, maybe. Oh no, emergency health. But I have four emergency health. So.
Oh, okay. So I have to go that way because there's a flute. I need to know what toot or how to toot the flute. Kill me, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I was supposed to jump into it or not. <laughs> right, I have to find a statue. And the statue will tell me the tune I need to play on that movie. This is for you. Oh. Oh. I was gonna like friendly or not. <laughs> Also bad water. Oh man, I'm like, I gotta be. I've had a lot of deaths by this point. This is the wrong way to go. I'm not sure if I've heard of it, or... I'm gonna leave it alone. I suppose it's not the right way to go. Oh. I really need it in the pool, have to by the water box. Find a way to drain the pool. Okay, I think I know how. We're gonna go down here and like break this. Okay, so yeah, that was the right place. I just went about it in a weird order. Weird being wrong. Ah, oh, stupid monster. I don't know if I'm killing it, but I'm hitting it. <laughs> I'll use a sling. The sling is actually stronger because I got a mod for it, that, uh, or like an item for it that gives the damage. Maybe I can't kill it. Nine, eight, seven. Nine, eight, seven. Put down the hole. Now we know it's 987, which is really easy. There's so many emergency healers. Ah, oh, damn it. Emergency healing flasks won't save from that. <laughs> oh, it despawned. Okay. So I got, um, 
I hit it on a couple of other games for streaming. At least one other game for streaming. Called, uh, what is it? Uh, what is it called? This is one I think would be fun for like a smaller. I don't know how long it is, but it's uh, Z N I W. It's his new adventure. It's like a point and click. There's Northern Journey update. It's a, oh, what's the update? This game. Hold on. Northern Journey is an update. I might relaunch the game. Just let it uh, download. Next time I get to a save or spot where I can save, I'll reload the game. Alright, save the game. Alright, so we're gonna take a quick might as well take a quick break here. Um I'm gonna close the game, update it. Um I'll run an ad in the meantime, so we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Uh, I don't know if everyone's seen the ad, but I don't want to sit here in silence. Okay, Northern Journey. That's a big update. All right, this is going to take a while. Um, let's just do BRB then. Be back in like five. ERB, and we'll be back in a little while.
So that will be it for the dark room. Let's get the game back home in. Yeah. Back to the game. Oh, there's a bear bolt. That's not good. Oh. Nightbot here? What's the Nightbot? Nightbot betraying and leaving the last second. Truly a great anime betrayal. This is not how skeletons work. Okay, I'm until they actually... I can't hit them before they, like, finish being built. Bone spider! Leads me to probably the set. I hate this water. Put this here. Fuck it. Where's Drake when I need him? Drake is our resident. Uh, Australian. Yeah, we get some big spoilers. Hopefully, it's a crossbow. <laughs> Use the crossbow primarily because um, it doesn't work as well in close quarters like the axe or the sword. And I'll see you. Okay. God damn it. Nightbot, so I had fun tracking my bets. I wonder what all these little helpers are, too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure these are the things. I thought these are the things I get for having all the extra help stuff, but I don't know what they actually do. Uh, or what are they? <laughs> Come on, spider. Come here. <clears throat> Ow. Okay, now we're safe. <laughs> 375? 375, alright. Easy enough. Spiders routinely ignore physics. It's really funny when they start rolling around the ground. Oh, was it 365? I already forgot. <laughs> I think it was 365. <laughs> I 
And a plug. My weird little children. I don't know what these are. <laughs> they're not really hindering me. They're not really helping either. I think they're more of a hindrance than a help, actually. I'll use the bow. You have to give me arrows. What is it? 365? Ow. 365. Oh god, there's more of them. Okay. There's a trap. <laughs> Trying to make me use just god damn it. Gonna stick with the axes. Gonna stick with the axes. Where am I? Oh yeah, that's right. No wait, where am I? Oh I'm far back. I'm not that far back, but Goodbye. Wait, how'd you do that? I like, jumped a bit of air back at me. I'm at a haunted glacier. Yeah. That's slightly spooky. I have a bunch of like these black phantoms that are following me around. And they're not like, it's not harmful. They're just kind of there. They follow me around. Yeah, they were at what? Three, no, three, no, three, no, three, no, three. That wasn't it. I forgot what the, what the tune was. Ah, oh, three, seven, five. A, B, C. <laughs> be a boss fight of some kind coming up. Oh god. <laughs> These are skeletons with red eyes. I think we're okay. I'm just gonna use this because I don't know if I'm coming back this direction. That was a very fast one. This reminds me of like the Abyss in uh, Dark Souls 2. When are we gonna find Sif? I want my blade wolf. I 
Artorius the uh, Abyss Walker. Oh, map drawn, where are we now? We're at the end. This is the final zone. The Haunted Glacier. We have to reach the top of it and defeat the Doppelganger. And the final zone, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the game. Hey dog, what's up? Cold yet? Destroy the peace up here. Keep your distance and snipe. Remember, close the portal when it is inside. There are thunder staves ahead. Only if we would not use them. What? But even ten wise men could not anticipate what you might do. That's fair. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting there. Thunder staves. That sounds cool. Lightning summoning effect. I guess we should do it. Go by the end. Only usable on a doppelganger. I am a wizard. <laughs> you shall not pass. They break in my hand. <laughs> I like the effect. They just kind of pop in my hand. <laughs> I'm about to fall. Stop it. I'm trying to get healing. I'm doing really good, too. Quick save before I fall into the water again while I go gather all my health. 
Whew. All right, full health. Full emergency health. We gotta be close to the end here. Down we go. We need one more violator. I'm sliding. I can't control myself. <laughs> I'm going really fast. too fast <laughs> it's like when you go on a water slide you're going too fast you like ride the roof of the water slide I hear the fleet. Whoa! <laughs> <It's fast. laughs> ah! Oh, I thought I was gonna actually die from like fall damage. The dark gate key. I got the zoogies. Someone's got the zoomies. Spin around circles. <laughs> hey, Poot Buddy. Hey, your child is fun sliding down the slide. Yeah. You made a dimensional violator. Yes, I made them a very long time ago. Now, only one other thing. Find it. You go deeper into the church in Deadwell, into the cold depths. The sweeping bong opened a void dimensional violator from Deadwell to here. Use the portal by the bridge. Wait, where? Is it over here? Okay, I guess it's this way. There's a fork here. Whoa. Never back. At the town. Is the seer still here? Tell me, seer. Anything good? You shall find a large troll in a deep mountain hall. Antlers on the half eaten beast without a break. Yeah, I did that actually. They haven't told us anything wrong yet. Everything we've done has actually happened. We've killed everything. This guy is still here. He hasn't paid his taxes. Sheriff is still here. Hi, Mr. Flutie. My dear employee, the last bit of my letter was inside the church, but the village idiot has taken it. Below the dead well of this rock is the dry well that connects another world. The stolen dimensional violator is open to the very same place where that pet worm comes from. Find the other end of dimensional violator there to get where it is hidden here. Go and knock in the chamber of the church. Oh, and good hearted as I am, I have the inventor make you something you will need. Find it inside. Dry, warm, and spacious are all overrated. Diving gear. Oh boy. Yeah. I have to go find pet worm now. Books. <laughs> that was the evil one. Is 
So the drowned veins. I think it's like the last zone. We're close to it. I'm not even in the map anymore. It's also very dark in here. Let's get something rapid firing. I feel like I might need that. Oh, more health. Where do I go from here? I think this is where I just came from, right? Yeah. So we are going to get a nice statue. Oh. I knew that was there. This seems nice. Alright, so I didn't put on the diving gear before I went into the water. That one is on me. Uh, I feel like he's probably a wizard. And as you know, wizards have no sense of right or wrong, so... They're prob he's probably very morally gray. Just put on the gear. There we go. We're playing Subnautica now. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Scratch my face. Kind of Leviathan every day down here. Yeah. Right. A space hat works almost as what is that? Oh, works almost as well for uh, for you know, underwater. I never did find all the new leviathans in a uh, in below zero. I know there's like the ice worm. That like the way you're walking around on the ice, it like you know burrows out like a you know, like a sandworm to attack you. It's that red thing. Oh, what the hell? Oxygen efficiency decreased. Right, where are we going? There's a red wire over here somewhere. Let's go this way. There it is. Is this is where I came from? Uh, yeah. The string of fate is turning. Okay, yeah, I came this way, I think. Thank you. 
Heaven or hell. He wanted to play Guilty Gear again, I just sucked at it. Look, I'm the water. I think one of the only fighters I got really good at, other than like Skullgirls, was uh, Persona 4 Arena. It was a really fun fighting game. I never, I never even played Persona before. How do I get out? There we go. Alright. Back to shooting things. Not jump in there. Sorry, getting itchy. Shower for me. town idiot get all the way down here yeah it's like oh, I like the noise yeah, the deep roar You should. Subnautica or um, Subnautica Below Zero. Both of them are really good. I know they said they're, they, they're trying, they want to work on Subnautica again to bring it up to Below Zero with like standards. So that'd be really good. I like, okay, where am I going? Am I going deeper or am I going up? The game isn't really helping me out here. Yeah, Breath Edge is a lot less, uh, yeah, <laughs> Breath Edge is a lot less scary. <laughs> I played that a bit, I gotta, I never, I gotta get back to that one and finish it. That one's a fun, that's a, a, a funny game, like tongue in cheek. A little goofy game. Oh, here we go. I like Breath Edge because I know in the very I think I told you this <clears throat> in the very beginning if you like if you wait I think I came from this area in the very beginning if you like keep spitting in its face eventually you just get a game over God damn it this is where I came from. Uh, I think I'll beat it tonight. The gameplay. Like the game link I saw for it, it said 12 hours, and I streamed it for like 6 hours yesterday. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna beat this tonight. If I beat it tonight, I don't know what I'll do. I might, <clears throat> I might stream like this new adventure or whatever. It's like a point and click game with dinosaurs, it's really cute. Yeah? Yeah, what about it? Dying to her was funny, though. 
<laughs> she fell down. Uh. Imagine being too scared to play Subnautica. Even Kraken played Subnautica and beat it. And Kraken's a big baby in water games. I know, right? Bigger scaredy baby than Kraken, SMH. That looks like a not human skull. That looks like some sort of large underwater creature. This is less exciting than the gliding. I like the glider section more. That was that was neat. This is a bit less exciting. Yeah, there's a whole section where uh, I was like in a glider and like going through a mountain valley. That was really cool. You can see on the VOD later. It was good. I thought it was really neat. Another like unexpected thing the game did. Yeah, on my YouTube channel. Whoa! How cool is this? Although if I if I read the uh, if I read the what you call it um, the affiliate agreement. You're not supposed to upload stuff, like, until 24 hours after, if I understood that correctly. Because it's like the Twitch exclusivity agreement or whatever. It's only like 24 hours, but that's what I, that's what I understood. Skull is missing. My YouTube info is in my about section. I have to update my Nightbot to, to do that, even though Nightbot isn't here. I don't know that about me. But now I have a harpoon gun. Harpoon launcher, that means underwater enemies. Oh. <sighs> it's water bugs. Giant water bugs. I just hate insects in this game. Need more harpoons. Come on, let's go. Sounds like a fart. Technically, it's all you really need. A lot of harpoons there. There's a skull. Found the skull of a dark entity. Well, that's not suspicious.
Is that more harpoons? Yes. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what harpoon, like, guns are. Is, is they're not, like, pneumatically powered, they're just, like, slings. And it works! <laughs> Deeper, darker, danker. Alright, need some more harpoons if I can find any. Oh, never mind, there's no more enemies in here. I can't even pull out the harpoon launcher. Yeah, the mystery dot. The you can't save here the dot. Like, is it because there's something happening or am I gonna get attacked? Maybe yes, both. I think I shouldn't swim into this hole, but I'm gonna. Honestly, I just kind of want the underwater segment to end, because it's not that exciting. <laughs> not like the other one. Oh, hey. You're stuck! once I was playing Gauntlet Dark Legacy with my friend and uh, we used to like we would like have one of us carry the keys and for some reason I decided it would be me and I would use a French, a French accent I was like oh I'm the key master and I, I don't know why I decided to do that that was me for the game and uh, I guess at one point we opened a chest and I had too many keys, so like, fine. Or you can take the key. But I want the key. I'm the key master. Like, you're full. Fine. You can have the apple. So I grab the apple. Your health is full. Just, God damn it. I don't know why it was such a, like, a, <laughs> such an angry thing to not be able to take the key and me being, like, health, full health. But it's a fond memory of that game with my friend. Good old gauntlet. Alright, where are we? Direct ruin crystal found in cave. Okay. Big sippy. It's water time. I got like a big ass jug of water. Now I can drink water without feeling bad for being loud. Move my mic away from my face though. I got like a big gallon of water and then I fill it up and they put like a full thing of Neo water flavor or whatever in it. So it's easier to drink. Also, so I don't forget to drink it as much. And sometimes there's a caffeinated Mio too. The last thing I need is more caffeine.
Reginald. <laughs> Sorry, Reginald. We're having crab for dinner, baby. attack it but it shows violence I'm out of our booze I guess we're just gonna deal with it bad crabs bad crabs Found a rune fish. I found some harpoons. It's raining crap. Ow. Can't even hurt that bad. There's barely like any mass to them. Randomly raining crab. I probably didn't need to kill any of them, but then thinking about it, I killed like 10 of them. That would have been a lot more crabs just dinking me on the way out. My father in law is cooking something that smells really good. Correct rune you found in the cave that left the community. Uh, okay. I don't... I have... Do I not have the right one though? Portal may with your vine. Come through the dry well, yep. Crystal. Well, what other. What's another way to go? It's the cave that brought me here, so unless there's something in here I need to go back and get that I missed. I probably did, because I went right into the hole instead. Back we go. So this section has probably killed the pacing for the game. In my opinion, anyway. We follow this. Geometry getting stuck on stuff to stop. Okay. Oh, just a weird rock. I guess I go back up here. There's like another area. 
that I came from. Pretty sure I, I don't know which direction I came from though. I think I gotta go this way. Yeah, because I came here, I saw this. So, yeah, I'll swim over here and see what's in this cave. Oh, okay. That's the rune crystal I probably need. I go back down. But, I mean, at least I have the, uh, another rune crystal for something I probably need a bit later. Check my ad progress. Okay, another 45 minutes till the ads come. So we're okay. Oh, this way. There we go. I know I'm going the right way because I see I get stuck on the geometry. I knew I shouldn't have gone down this hole first. I, I, I vocalized it. Like, I probably shouldn't go down this hole, but I'm gonna. And then I did. And now I had to go all the way back. I have another room. Just there. Three crystals now, so one of them has to be the right one. That worked out in the end. Got all three of them. He returned something a book. We need to go find a book. A book named Deep Down. A secret bookshelf. Poons here, so safe from enemies at least. Follow this. This way? <clears throat> Going deeper. I don't know where I'm actually going. I just assume I have to go down. I'm waiting to get jump scared too.
it doesn't follow normal like swimming or like, low gravity the hum movement either. I keep hitting space and control to kind of like adjust my elevation, but you only go directly forward. Can we go this way? No. This way? We must go deeper. Oh, excuse me. We hit bedrock. Naturally occurring obsidian. Yeah, we're still here. Yeah, I was I said it earlier, like I feel like this. This part of the game kind of killed the pacing of it. It's like not a terrible segment, but it's kind of boring. Kind of boring? Could have been like a bit shorter, I guess, in my opinion, but yeah. It's not as exciting as like the, like the diving bell section. There's, you know, there's nothing going on. Just rocks and rocks and more rocks. And, you know, water, bubbles, and various underwater like plants for some reason, and sometimes a skeleton. There's something glowing up here. That's hot water. There we go. What is this? The list of shots. These look spooky. Look at these guys. 104 more permanent health. Damn it. Ah, oh, that's what I would have gotten if I gotten it. So close. Like a fancy looking bow. I guess it's a ballista. I was so close. Primordial Abyss. Oh, hey! I guess it's the journey to the center of the earth. Oh, it's the village idiot and his friend, Pet Snake! Pet Snake! <laughs> Hello! A oh, pet room. We also love pet word. We came all the way to offer it a delicious snack. The poor thing is hungry and craves blood. Bring your gifts on two legs closer. No, you don't want to close the red door. It must be open so I can come visit. Oh, they're playing the song from the from the from the town of the dancers. Alright, next weapon. Uh, so that one's for here. We'll put this right here. 
I'm gonna do this right here. I probably missed that. <laughs> if does a ton of damage, he's gonna not miss it. And I missed it like twice. Stop eating me. It is not a request. It's a, a jam going on. Snakes, axe. Alright, axe time. A lot of blood. <laughs> Almost got it. I think it is. Yeah, I remember. I remember reading that the, uh, the developer, I think he tweaked the final boss because he didn't. The final boss is not meant to be like the most insane challenge in the game. It's meant to be like, hey, you're done with the game now. You know, this is the this is the last fight, which I can appreciate. I always hate when you get to a final boss, and uh, it sucks when the final boss is either really easy or just insanely, insanely hard. So, I guess it depends on the game. The spiders were hard though. Bear crossbow. I wonder what my death is by falling the lava. It'll probably happen whether I wanted to or not. So I'm not gonna bother trying it. I love this crossbow. I just, I just think of it as like a 50 caliber crossbow. <laughs> it's this, these bitches. They were in the, uh, the they were in the sheriff's prison. Some people call them demons. I call them bitches. This is Halloween. It would have been a good Halloween game, you know, now that I have played it. Give me that. There we go. Reload this. Don't you sexy walk at me.
There we go. All right, uh, let me make the jump here. Yeah, let's get some extra health. Arrows that I'm not using. <laughs> I never use the arrows for anything. Uh, put a spear here. It's not that the bow and arrow is bad or anything, I just prefer to use anything else. Oh cool, one more plus one max health. That would have been funny if that would have been the last max health I needed to actually get the ballista there. Oh, I want ammo for that. Alright, so we'll put this there. Oh, there's a lot of them. Stop it! Oh, I missed. How did I miss? Go away! He's like good. Norwegian succubus looks like. Okay, arrows work really well on them. Sometimes arrows don't work well on like certain enemies. <laughs> Just nail amp again. Breathe. You know, times have fallen on, you know. You know, it's been a hard time at the Black Mesa. So. You can't blame him for trying to get work, you know, where he can. No one's just looking for a giant fucking infant. Hey, it's a house. I'll list the shots for the list I don't have. Oh, he's back. Okay, throwing spear. Uh, <laughs> Wormy grew legs. I guess we try talking to him. I've had us grow an eight pretty legs, a real go-getter, wanting to get you this time. It is a bit sick and a fiery stomach bug. We're not gonna have any like visitation policy on this. Oh yeah, he walked into that long range shot. <laughs> Sword is very slow. Hey, a lot of bugs. Talk about a stomach bug. I think that was a joke they made too. <laughs> Spear time. Oh. Oh, 
Damn it. <laughs> Almost got him with that one. Alright, so we have... Put the rotating crossbow back over here. God, I'm running out of ammo. Right, we got swords. I say I'm running out of ammo, but I have like a ton of arrows, and there's a ton of arrows all around the map. Got him. Get out of here. Save, grab all the stuff. The music keeps starting with like an electronic beat almost, and I keep thinking it's like starting the rude sandstorm. I think it's like do 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 do. I'm like, wait, no, not sand, not not sandstorm. I scratch my arm. There you go. I'm low on ammo here. Thankfully, there's rocks, and I have a sling. Alright, we got axes up here. I thought there'd be more demon people or demon ladies around. I got an upgrade for like the uh, the bow and arrow. I get one for the sling, which is really nice. But... run away because they're actually wounded or because they're like annoyed like all right fine dummy we'll leave you alone you're no fun yeah <laughs> that's fine they can stay Maybe they want to have a good time in Norway. Hell yeah, more ammo. <gasps> Where am I? <laughs> yeah, uh, snack rolled for a new for a helmet. I shouldn't have quick saved up here. Fuck. I, know, I could drop like here. Maybe? I'm dead. <laughs> I might have fucked myself. If I fuck myself, I'm gonna be really sad because the last time I saved here was hours ago. Unless there's some way for me to get down from here without dying. Or maybe I can go jump over here. Okay. Alright, that's the way to do it. So yeah, the helmet's on because uh, Snook used the channel redeem. Thanks for coming by, Drake. How are you doing today? You see, I got a, you know, we got affiliate now, so we can use channel redeems for fun stuff like that.
Oh, hell yeah, I made it. I gotta run all the way back up there, which is not that bad. I'm just happy I didn't fuck up my game by saving at a bad spot. <laughs> I feel like after like an X amount of time, it it gives the alert again. Thanks for subscription, Drake. Thank you very much. You subscribed at... Oh, is it not saying my tier? God damn it, I have the, the tiers uh, at a different level because I think it's funny. Like, tier 1 is mouse... is like mouse power... or power level mouse. Tier 2 is power level rat. And then tier 3 is power level capybara. With their rodent power levels. With Capybara being the most powerful, largest rodent of them all. Enjoy your dab, rat. He's only slightly brain damaged. It's okay. It's okay. Pull the lever. So I think we're almost done with the game. I think. I, I know, like, there might be like, one more fight with, uh, with Pet Worm, at least. It's all for a boat. All I want to do is fish. This is going to be like a spec ops the line. Do you, like, you, you remember why you're doing this? Have you ever played spec ops the line? Amazing. The game itself is okay, but the story is really good. I had a lot of fun with it. It's like a twist behind the story, anyway. This up though again, appreciate it. Yeah, very, very good game. That game is one of the few like modern warfare games that kind of made me have to like take a step back for a minute to kind of manage myself. Like, I've played all sorts of other games, like, I played like Battlefield One, you know, people were like, like screaming and dying and all that, but like Spec Ops, that, that game fucked me up a little bit. <laughs> that game, uh, that game messes with you. Pretty well. That's very good. That's like I love it so much for that. Ooh, I almost walked off the edge. I also played the multiplayer with my sister, and that's one of my one of our more favorite memories of it. Is uh, there's like the co-op maps of it, and one of them is you two have to fight your way to your, um, to your helicopter which is coming for pickup. And you have to do it in a time limit. And we made it there with like one second left, like the screen is filling up with sand. Also, Drake, the, you need 140 max health to get the, uh, the item, which is a ballista. I missed it by a little bit. Can I save my game over here first? There we go. Pet worm. Pet worm. I think pet worm got a little bit out of a uh, out of control, if I had to guess. Go from the east, switching crossbow. 
Let's fix this instead. Oh, he ate the dog. Don't mind me overloading my guns. I got my pet some knives, it's cheered up. I thought I'm tons of blue eggs. Yeah, oh, shiny? Really? So we're making a thousand cut corpse. My favorite snack. My pet really wants to show you how sharp they are. You can fly, damn it! You can fly! The music, the music's so weird, like it doesn't, ah, doesn't really match what I would expect for, you know, a game about Norway, but, you know, here we are, in Norway. <laughs> <laughs> the windup of the spear is really long. Let's go, bitch. No! <laughs> the spear is so hard to use. Throw an axe at it. Ow. Alright, fine. Bear bow it is. It's a really big target, but it's really easy to miss. Perspective is all over the place with it. Where'd you get those lines? Anyway. God damn it. <laughs> Come on. We're making this harder than it needs to be, man. Really hard to hit. You're being a dick. There we go. Uh, I got the hang of it eventually. Nice shot! Nice shot! Chess bot! Oh, I thought I was gonna hit it. That would've been a really good one. Swords are going to be even harder to hit it with because they, they move even slower. <laughs> Any other good things to throw at it now? Got axes again, though, so let's. Uh... Let's go! Ah, ah, ah! <laughs> that backfired. At least it doesn't push you around. If it actually like push you around when it hit you, like and falling off to the uh, the hazard, that would be really annoying. Oh hey.
Almost dead. Come on. Ow. Where are you going? <laughs> like just watching it fly around. Like, come on. Ain't got all day. Ah. Uh. Never should have come here. Where's he going? His wings fell off, and his legs fell off. Rip. I love how Twitch sometimes make, makes badges disappear. Like your first badge disappears for some reason. Let's see you up, I guess. I think this is the end of the game. <gasps> it's the idiot. How did you get here? Oh, is he gonna push me into the lava? Are we gonna do this again? Let's <laughs> go. Yeah, let's go. Changeling Island? Oh no. Well, that doesn't sound good. I just want a goddamn boat. Let's pick up some new stuff just in case something happens. Uh, there, crossbow. Let's put this here. <laughs> Health. We'll turn to like a Evangelion ending where everyone's gonna clap for me. The last dimensional violator. We will make it explode in the face of the thief who needs a lesson. If we damage it enough, it will self destruct when something comes through the portal. It needs to be burned for combined 130 seconds. The thief, the thief steals the portal is ready. Take it from him and return it. Let him take it once green smoke pours out of it. The forest party looks great. The wood energy needed. Okay. Yeah, we're just burning it. We get another fucking dance party though. I love this guy dancing. The seer is also crazy. Put it down. Stop it. Thirty seconds. Stop it. <laughs> Plants are angry. Please, I just want to burn this thing in peace. Look at everyone going though. Hey, get back here. It was busy. <laughs> We're just jamming out here. We got like the laser light show and everything. Stop it! 
Maybe if someone helps me fight these things instead of just dancing. That one's sometimes the enemies spin in a really crazy manner. Like when I first started playing, we had jumping spiders that were like doing this crazy like spin. I swear to God, I'm getting faster too. <laughs> Need 30 more seconds of heat on it. Stop it. I think they're slapping out of his hand like a child. No, you can't have it. I gotta fight the trees and everything. <laughs> and this little shit. Got it. Uh, no more bolts. Uh, <sighs> now that I'm taking it, that's in the tower. Sure, it comes through the dimensional violator. Okay. Can I get more ammo and stuff, please? Yeah, he's supposed to take it. That's what he's supposed to take. A lot of crossbow bolts for both of those. Look at all these crazy ass mushrooms. get up to the top of the tower. Oh, like that. Okay. Did not look like geometry I was able to walk on. The anti-worm crossbow. Pet worm, is that uncooked meat I see? Thing launch me, let me flying back every time. I turn into a full dragon like a worm. That's no worm. Careful, you're gonna make all the dragon furries really upset. This fly really slow. Yeah. Ah, oh, he turned. One more 
more hit, maybe? I'm sorry, pet worm. It had to be this way. That had it right on me. The beginning. It's me. Now oh, it's the bird say. Sorry to say, our village did survive just fine as your head became his airbag. His dear pet worm was crushed and pierced into oblivion. Hopefully that quenches his reason to seek the remaining dimensional violence. We will not find the place of his adventure again. But behind you, in the chest, there's a map showing the correct route. Also, I put a valuable flute in there. A memory and reward, you might say. Should meet you again, I will surely sink your boat when you least expect it. So the adventurer takes the path for the But your journey ends where it began. Book quest. <laughs> Made by Slid Studio. Was a fun game. What did we get? How many hours did we get out of that one? Got about 11 hours, so just about, just about 12. All right, well, that was good. So I think I'm going to take a little break here, um, and then I'll talk about the game a little bit. I think it was very worth, that was very worth every penny that, you know, Drake paid for it. It would be that worth every dollar of mine as well, so. But let's take like a five-minute break. Um, I'm going to run an ad, and then when I come back, you know, musically playing, but we'll be back in like five minutes. So, uh, yeah, stretch, drink some water, get a snack, we'll be back soon. I think we're going to pick up, we're going to play next is, um, hmm. I'm going to, it's going to be between SNKRX which I want to play, or I want to play Z um, Z New Adventure, because that game looks really cute. That's why I bought it yesterday. Maybe I'll play that. It's a point and click. So, maybe I'll save SNK SNKRX for when I do my 24-hour stream. We'll, I'll figure something out, but yeah. Be back soon.
Alright, back. So, let's try... I want to try this cute point-and-click game out. I haven't played a point-and-click game in a while. You get to watch me be really stupid. So let me get my uh, stream stuff updated with this. Let's do, um, it's the new adventure. Uh, let's see. Uh, dinosaurs first point and click. Dinosaurs are technically snakes. Also, there were snakes in Norway. Let me put the music back on, actually. I'm not done yet. I want to talk about, like, uh, Northern Journey, too. I'm tapping up something uh, next up. And the new adventure. And click the dinosaur game. I'll play Snake the Adventure. I, I, I have SMK RX. It's not going anywhere. On my list. Tweet this out at Twitter, Twitter. <laughs> I will play what I want. So, yeah, I mean, Northern Journey, since I'm right here. Um, I can even pull a, uh, can pull a what you do here. Uh, and this one. And we'll do... Oh! We'll just get bigger here for a minute. We'll talk about Northern Journey. My helmet's not... So that's the hard part with this helmet. Is you can see how if I don't line it up right, you can kind of see the shirt and the scales through it. It's not a big deal on most of the time. But, anyway. Yeah. Big brain. Um, so, Northern Journey. That was fun. I think... Those weird indie games like that are... I don't know. I think they're really cool. As a... Like a fun change of pace. I mean, I've been doing a lot of first-person shooters, and that one just kind of stood out for being, you know... They had a lot of unique ideas... Um, or like it wasn't afraid to change up how it played, so it was a uh, it was fun. I liked it a lot. I definitely recommend it on Steam. Um, obviously, if you're not gonna play it, you know, recommend it to other people. I left a good review, so yeah, I liked it a lot. Recommended, thumbs up or tail up, you know, whatever whatever snakes give for you know thumbs up, something like that. That's what I was thinking. I thought it, it gave me like a, uh, a, yeah, like a VR vibe. I could, could have seen them like doing that. All right. So here, I'm going to take, I'm going to uh, doff the helmet and we'll find somewhere for me to place myself because the next game is point and click. So there could be stuff hiding in the corners. I don't want to block anything. So I might just sit off to the side. I've doffed the helmet. So, yep, next up is Zenu. This game seems cute. I remember watching it, like, stuff for it on, um, uh, on Twitter. Yeah, I'm just speaking over there. Not configuration tool. Okay, pass across. 
I'm gonna launch a configuration tool real quick, see what it looks like. Yep, start in windowed node, not what that one is. Desktop resolution, max scaling method, uh, okay. Advanced. God, they got stuff for like CRT monitors. Save and run. <gasps> this looks really cute. I love the art on it, it's adorable. Okay. Uh, Minimize. Minimize talk sprites. Talk sprites are small. It's my one issue with slobs. One of the ones that I get the most is there we go. Minimizing the uh the folders. Okay, properties. Where is it? Where is it? there we go. Alright, alright, get ready for cute. It's fuck very cute to start off the bat. Capture. There we go. Look at the little dinosaur. That's all I hand animated too. So, let's see how this goes. English. Polski. Select English language. Okay, I think I can actually sit off. I don't have to be completely off the side because it puts it in like the 800 by 600. Game by options. Just a little bit. Uh, you should, that's fine. Extras? No data. Oh, okay. Get the cute dinosaur. I love dinosaurs, by the way. I know, like a snake, you know, like a reptile sona. <laughs> well, hopefully they can they can afford a headset now because I hope that they made like good money with that game. They put a lot of work and a lot of love into it. It's very obvious. You know, I like it when you can see a game. You can tell that they put like you know people that made it were like happy. They 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 had a good time with it. You know, they were they were working hard. So yeah, I mean it's a lot of work. You know, a lot of love goes into it. You you could very clearly tell uh, looking at the game uh, that you know they 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 put a lot into it. So I I can appreciate that. All right, all right. Starting is new. I don't know how you pronounce that name, but. No data. Begin new game. Uh, yeah, that's auto save. We got the rats back now. This is authentic hand drawn. Oh no! How deviously clever, Seymour. What are we getting from Ma? Mom's right there. Yeah, a cute card. I'm not, my mom's mean. What a mean lady. There's a cute hand drawn card. Fresh flowers. Here we go. Last one. That's it. Flowers. The, food, the bouquet would make a perfect gift. Especially with a beautiful bouquet like this one. What seems to be going on here? Though? It's like the PDF. Oh. Hey, Mother. That's a little left mouse up in the cursor. Search a spot. Yeah, that. This new left her home, still being bummed by forgetting her brother's headset, she knows a beautiful bouquet. Truly a perfect present. Little problem, however. 
a big land, uh, land deal. Oh, this is a mine. What's the deal with this guy? Why is he taking so long to buy things? Alberta Dromis. Look at the nose. Last one. That's right. <laughs> Not the noise you're after. Oh. Talk to notice. Yeah, I probably shouldn't talk to everything. Can I talk to everything? No, I want to talk to the plants. Wait, no. Check a box of something. Not sure if it's edible or decoration. Posted for a play called The Legend of Hand. My poster. Oh, you have no comment as you haven't seen that particular play yet. What's this one? The issue of Zorro Force comic. <laughs> no, wait, don't. I want to take the poster. Indeed, indeed, a good poster is a thousand words. I'm gonna scan everything. Fresh flowers. Can't reach that. Maybe I can reach it from the Vampire Slayer stuff. Better to read it. Oh. Beautiful bouquet of flowers ever. I would express such splendor and beauty with mere spoken words. Hey, look at the online. This huge fellow still hasn't finished buying his things, so please wait a bit longer, okay? Traveling sales I auction visits the city every day of forest to offer plant-based goods to the villagers. Take the dino. Huh? You need something? Just grab dinosaur. Put dinosaur in pocket. Excuse me, I'd like to... Hey, wait a moment, girl. You're at least having that big guy over here. Man, he's so nervous that he can't decide what to buy. Just watch his head looking all over my place. Oh, there's a cue. Alright, then. Anyways, that okay, really the last one you have? Sure is, girl. I mean, look at this place. It's devoid of any plants. These flowers sure are a bestseller whenever I come here. When I come here every day of fourth. Day of fourth is going to throw me off. Well, I guess I can't blame anyone considering all these supply restocking problems going around recently. Anyway, we really spell chatting with you. But if you'll excuse me, I have a business to run here. Oh, right. Right. Massive Lambiosaurus fellow. He seems nervous about something. Can I take him? Such manners. Oh. I wasn't I didn't mean to punch him. Hey man, what's up? Oh, he looks scared. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Hey. This is be the problem. What are you so frantically looking for? My wallet. Can't find it anywhere. I'm gonna find it or stop money. Ooh. Hey, hey, hey. Easy now. He took the wallet with me. Okay, so what should I say? What does this wallet of yours look like? Hmm, pink with a decorative light dot pattern. Huh. Alright then. At least now I know what to look for. Are you sure you took your wallet with you? I am absolutely positively sure. I took it along with the key to my room. I never leave without those two. So, have you checked the way back to your house? Maybe it's lying somewhere on the way here. No, no, I had it in my hand just a minute ago. And then I saw that wonderful bouquet. I don't know where I put it after. Tell the little fellow. Aren't you? I know, where did they keep it? Uh, you weren't robbed, were you? That was nobody in line before. I don't think it's the case. Besides, who would try to rob a large guy? Like me. Okay, you got me there, big guy. How many folks would fancy being stomped on by a huge man of your I gotta go. Thanks. Ooh, I hope it's fine as soon. I mean, hey, bartering was always a thing. Now I can walk. Where are we going? Get so many presents for my mom. Okay. Where else can I go? Searched it? Okay. She's not gonna rob her customers. But it's in here. Check around the box. Oh, you found a wallet! And use collected items. Drop wallet. 
use wallet. Talk to wallet. <laughs> Press the right mouse button and hide and okay. There you go. Let's give it to the guy. Oh, you found my wallet. Thank you so much. Now then, I'd like to buy that pretty bouquet, please. No, I want it. Ah, you've got good taste. Last one, too. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, good taste indeed. I needed them as the final ingredient for my stew my wife is making today. I'd be in hot water if I came home empty handed. There goes my flower. It's a fancy rock or egg. It's so shiny. <clears throat> Go get the rock, Dookie. Uh-oh. They got some, like... They got some strength. <laughs> Let's go get that thing then, the shiny. Bushes have eyes. Now look before you leap, Goofy. myself out for a really long time. <laughs> oh, wait, what? What is this? What does that sign say? Scattered woods. Uh, Riven, Rivenna, Rivenna falls two kilometers. What? Scattered woods, Rivenna. Where am I? Easy, don't pass. You gotta be a quick way home. Or at least I hope so. Encyclopedia updated. Game saved. The story so far. Well, they didn't go so well. On one hand, she's still alive, but being treated under part of the forest isn't the safest thing, especially at night. Having no other option, I don't know how to say her name, so it's new. Uh oh, no, no. Uh, you do takes to explore the forest a bit in hope of finding any kind of non violent creatures. <coughs> Let's see. Encyclopedia. Creatures. This is new. Often self explained grumpy. She's the heroine of the game. She's an unknown ornithopod. But they're kind of learning to. Polysemia, not that long ago, from a faraway place. She lives in the city of Wajabuka. A large settlement built with a herbivore society in mind. With her parents, older sister, and younger brother. Her father is an engineer responsible for development of Wajabuka, while her mother is a famous friend. That's right, her family is quite a big deal in the city. No wonder if she seems somewhat spoiled, leading a carefree life far from the wilderness and dangerous meat eater. Despite her attitude and her flaws, it takes a while until one can see her good side coming out. But she's good at her hearts. Uh, they may have the strength or patience to endure for that long. Oh, her name is Zniff. That's how you pronounce it. Zniff. Zniff. Yes. Look at the face. <laughs> That's what is it? Das Little Saurus. 
a big book flower with a body that's as intimidating to most dinosaurs around. They are very similar to the larger Tyrannosaurus rex, which appear later near the end of the Cretaceous period. They are most commonly seen to the south, where they live a territorial, solitary life, but they don't smell that nice. You have one of these dinosaurs with a neighbor, sign me about quickly as possible, especially if you are small enough to be eaten in a single chop with their huge jaws. The only way to get rid of it is by inviting another one, or their arch enemy to the north, Gorgosaurus. The big theropods are the main reason why peace and dinosaurs began to gather in large groups, creating cities with big walls and fortifications. They often figure as they often appear in fairy tales, mostly the frightened children. Frightful lizards. Carnivore. It'd be a fun game for a kid. I think it's cute. Got yeah, here. Alberta Drogius. Are shy, quiet uh, dinosaurs that live a secret for life in forest. Do appreciate support and protection of larger herbivores, and quite a lot of them have some affinity with uh, Washapu. Or Wahapu? Ah. Oh. Uh, so you decide to start traveling trade. Not noticing a threat, Alberta Dromius will run away swiftly. They are really fast. Better approach one calmly. Runner from Alberta. Wow. Yeah, Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus. Different feet types. Parasaurolophus. Office. The other dinosaurs live on the lower floor buildings. I like flying higher up would be dangerous because they could easily slip on the narrow stairs. That actually would be equally dangerous for other and for to be in the same building. Being stomped over or hit by a tail is the most pleasant experience. The long crescent head is actually hollow inside and works akin to bent tubes, passing the inhale there similar to Lambiosaurus. The crest amplifies the voice, making their calls much louder. So loud, in fact, these that is another ask to fill in the role of an alarm clock sound. Oh, okay, then the new 19, they updated the clause. Their size of life makes them unlikely to be attacked by a hungry beauty, living in herds prefer to open spaces. That's for the better, to be honest. Just like many other crest headed observers, it can be really loud. Having their voice amplified by the air chambers inside the Everyone likes the noise, especially during the nighttime. On top of that, these dinosaurs are really big. And while they aren't as clumsy, uh, their rigid body and tail, which is stiffened by asphalt tendons, can cause some trouble and make interacting with smaller dinosaurs trouble. Yet, a few of them decided to stay in Wahapuka, along with other hedgesaurs, trying to adapt their loud lifestyle to the new place. It seems like they're making good progress, as fewer houses have been getting destroyed recently. Basic facts. Lambiosaurus. Lambie's lizard. That is so well named. Oh, we have all the, the families and stuff too. Such an educational game. Other animals. Okay. Yeah, horse tails. I'm not gonna read about the plant. I guess I'll read about the plants. Horsetail. These plants are the only last members of a much larger group that trace back to the Paleozoic era. Uh, their range of leaves and whorls around segmented stems, or segmented stems, give the plant their characteristic appearance and distinctive feature of horsetail. Because their stems gain high amount of the brace chemical called silica, horsetails can be used to clean and polish wood or stone. I did not know that. That's cool. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce it. Cyads? Cycads? Cycads? Uh, belong to the Cicatelis order. <laughs> a group of plants which appeared during the Perumi or Permian period of the Paleozoic. The top of a cyan trunk is decorated with a magnificent crown of feather shaped leaves. They often look like small trees, but they're under. There are also cases where the trunk is hidden underground, only the crown is visible. They produce quite hefty cone like structures called strobulus, though you could simply call it a cone. It might prove to be rather painful on direct contact with your head. Oops. Uh, one should be get careful when dealing with them since these plants are toxic, especially the seed found in the females. Only the elder turtle from scattered woods know how to handle them properly. Ferns, is a classic fern. Appeared during the Devonian period. Uh, greatly diversified in late Cretaceous epoch. Uh, we get a 
large feather-like fronds are the first thing that come to mind when thinking about ferns. One of the pinnate fronds are common, it's worth remembering that ferns have lots of different shapes and sizes, some of which are much different than from the common form. Ferns are very common in the scattered woods area, and everywhere else for that matter. They are the most basic ingredient in the herbivore diet, especially those who can't reach tree leaves. Conifer. Dominant trees of the Mesozoic era, and a major component of any large one. Their origin dates back to the Carboniferous period. Most conifers have leaves shaped like needles, and, when wounded, they bleed a protective, sticky resin. Their seeds are stored in cones, usually appearing as woody, scaly structures. There are some interesting exceptions where the cones have a fruit-like appearance, like a juniper berry, for example. Such seed cones aren't true fruits, though as true fruits are a specialty of flowering plants. There aren't many conifer forests on your path, as the scattered woods are full of shrubs and made of ferns and cycia. But if you ever travel further to the east, you'll witness large areas covered with giant trees like pretzels. Flowering plants. Also known as angiosperms, they are the newest member of the plant group. They appeared on Earth in the Cretaceous before their appearance. Such of flowers and true fruits were non existent. I had to cough, lots of talking. Um, although flowering plants are still new, they are spreading rapidly and someday will become dominant. Not every flower smells like all of them certainly look pretty. That's why they're getting more and more popular as a decorative item, especially among the female portion of the dinosaur population. When not picked from the plant, the flower may turn into a fruit. It's very effective to disperse all the seeds stored inside. Some lightweight fruits use wind for that, though they're not edible, but some are purposely very colorful, juicy, and tasty. That's right, they're meant to be eaten. Seeds remain fine, though, they reach the new areas when food out. We're like Polish dinosaur world. Let's see. Polysemia. One of the few areas where dinosaurs live in small, loosely connected communities. Arguments and misunderstandings from the deep past uh, seeing those living in this area led to polyse er, polysemia's formation. This caused many dinosaurs to migrate to and from the area, leaving all these spoke similar dialects. If one wants to describe the region, geographically it is surrounded by mountains that have a broad access to inland sea to the east. It contains many rivers. Some swamps, and it's full of forests and bushes. It was established by dinosaurs living on the western part of the continent, which will someday be known as North America. Some interesting trivia is that in the late Cretaceous, North America was divided into two by inland sea named Western Interior Sea. The result was two island continents, Laramidia to the west and Appalachia to the east. And so all dinosaurs who sniffed meats on her journey lived in Laramidia. The inhabitants living in Polysemia rarely form larger organized communities. Exceptions to the few settlements, with Wajapuka uh, probably being the most advanced among them. Loose, yet diverse localities are sprinkled across the land. They keep minimal connections with each other, only reaching out in case of emergency. Wajapuka. I would say, okay, it's Vaya, Vayapuka. That's what I was thinking, that's what I thought. Vayapuka. Vayapuka. There we go. Vayapuka is a large establishment with tall buildings signed by Zniff's father. And it was built several years ago as a carnivore free zone for herb, herbivore, herbivorous, herbivorous, herb, herbivorous, vegetarians, uh, but a small and large. But the life there isn't as idyllic as the adverts claim. It's simply safe as living in the outdoors, thanks to the sturdy fences and volunteer dinosaurs keeping the predators at bay. The only real threat here is being trampled by someone larger. The idea of herbivore, herbivorous, Herbivorous dinosaurs helping each other in a community is admirable, but the founding uh, Vaya Puka has a negative impact in the surrounding area. You won't notice any greenery in the city, as everything has been eaten down to the ground. Instead, all food substitutes are taken from the nearby forest, as more locals either migrate farther away by something to eat or join the community. Even farther away lands, like scattered woods, were abandoned after many dinosaurs left to live in Wa Wahat Vaya Puka. Puka. Scattered woods, a wild part of, in, of middle Polsenia, full of flowing water and green cedar, which lots and lots of cycads, uh, cycads, Cy cycads. It was once a well managed place, but after Wah Wayapuka was founded, dinosaurs started mass migrating from the woods to the big city. As a result, scattered woods feels desolate, with many suspicious individuals looking the dark corners of the forest. Nevertheless, featuring lots of vegetation and fresh water, scattered woods is a popular choice for your holiday picnic. A tour guide is strongly recommended, though, especially to venture to the forest for the very first time. Items. Nothing. Oh, wait. 
nothing. Lots of it. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm not reading all of them. <laughs> so yeah, sure, drop that. Let's see if I can return and send me you can. Griff is way too tall. Better start looking around for another way. And yeah, fast. Can I talk to it? There and not shall anything up that cliff. That best be a source. Might hear you die. Climb the cliff. The art is very cute. Surely you didn't plan on climbing this cliff. You have to find a way around it. What's the sign say again? Oh yeah, scattered woods. It's not an interactive sign. The best you can do is simply look at it. Take the sign. Analyzing public property won't take that around here. Besides, the sign is planted too deeply. Alright, let's go to the right path. No, to the left path. Let's see what's over here. Boulder. A big boulder. Take the boulder. Uh, it's too heavy. Shocker. Your words echo in vain. Whoa, it's brown. I think it's what you call a cone. Acquired a brown cone. Can I talk with a cone? Yeah. It's a somewhat soft brown cone. Use it. Look at this sign. Turtle traditional tinctures. From tonics and tinctures to beauty creams and coffee deli repellent. All your needs. Terrible leaves. Like these are some truly durable leaves. Unsurprisingly, they don't respond when I talk to them. But I take them. You already hold them in your hands. You drop it before you get something else. Okay. That sandbar. The sandbar right next to there. Something seems to be hiding inside. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> it's a crab. Hey, anybody home? Apparently there is. That crab's being a dick. All right, well, let's go back the way we came. In. We've got a cone. Flowers. The latest trend I know fashion. White flowers. Be aware of picking them, not talk. Yeah, fair. Not cool. I'm carrying the cone right now. Berries. The delicious herbs and fruit are growing here. Do you always talk at your meal first? Maybe. Okay, fine, I'll drop this. Pick it up. No. <laughs> Drop it. I got some berries. Found some food. You can get special shiny pebble hints in the story so far. Oh, okay. So for everything I eat, I get hints. Oh, I'm talking to your dinner. Eat. Yum. Fine. The vine hanging from the tree. Alright, I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna drop this. And I can like drop items in the ground. They're easy to grab in case I forget. That's not a talk. A piece of vine. Can I use it on um, that? Yeah, no. Oh, it's a sneaky one. I think it's 
lurking in that hollow. You shot in the hollow's direction, but nobody or nothing. Ah, uh, yes, that's a comb. Talking with pine cones at this hour? The grumpy Hesper er, Hesperonic just wonder how he could be asleep, snoring so loud. Can I talk to him? Hey! Not very effective. She's a, a less gentle method of yelling? Yell. Hey! <laughs> With a much more resolute approach. Go! <laughs> However, doesn't seem to be too happy about it. <laughs> Did you have an hourglass? Why did you wake me up? Whoa, easy there. I just wanted to ask some questions. That's all. Honest. Uh, alright. Here goes my sleep. Alright, alright. Better be quick about it. Looks like the lady. You know how to get to Wahapulka? Yeah, I heard that name before. What about it? You want to get there? Yes, I do. Tough luck, kid. You have to walk a pretty long walk. You're not even on the right side of the river. You should be dragging your yellow hide to the bridge. Alrighty. <laughs> and where's that? Beats me? Somewhere in the northern edge of the woods, you think? Ah, now that was so useful. You're very welcome. Well, it could be like that. What I'm saying is the journey could be safe or short. Better properly prepare yourself for this kind of adventure. Or am I, anyway? A fly information booth or something? You're in scattered woods, lady. What a mean bird. Ah, the popular tourist spot with some waterfall view. I read about it once. Uh, say it used to be popular. I bet it was turned this neighborhood into a real hot mess. You can clearly see a rough example right here. What are you yammering? Oh, nothing. How'd I get out of here? Well, you get to the northern part of the woods, then. Wait, no, no, no woods. I want to get out of this forest. Wait, let me finish, you ungrateful brat. Ravinna River splits into a forest southern and northern part. Since you're on the wrong side of the river, you need to cross the bridge first. Cross it, and then finally leave this place. Ah, I see. You mentioned preparing properly. What do you mean? You know a brain, even the picture of urine tone. Any habit that was nailed at the ground would be useful for your journey at one point, right? Like a rope, or supplies, or a rock? You should really use a backpack to carry all this junk, though. Oh, backpack sounds good. Yeah, I'm known for having good ideas. Known for, even when I'm woken up in the middle of the night. Can't stand this guy. You woke him up. Oh, anywhere I can get a backpack. Of course, from a backpack tree, obviously. Wait, really? No, doofus, you gotta make one. Oh. So, how do I make a backpack? <laughs> you totally help to start. Think out your own, will you? Kind of loud, could have back you two things. Something big and durable, hold your stuff, and some kind of strap to carry on your back. And where could I? No, enough. I don't want to hear any more of your stupid questions. You're wasting off my time and not your babysitter. I'm out of here. You want to sleep. Good thing I have a vine with me. Slowly. It's a toidle. Lucky for you, it's not a wild savage beast. Oh dear, did I wake you up? Oh no, I wasn't sleeping to be honest. I've been having a hard time getting myself to sleep. What are you doing here so late at night anyway, dear? Well, long story short, no matter too far from my hometown, I guess I kind of got lost. Oh, well, that's horrible. What's your name where you live, dear? My name's Nip from Wahapuka. Ah, poof, I'll admit, a bit far away. Wandering around the woods, especially at night, this is the same thing to do. Why'd you say my place until dawn, dear? Thanks for the offer, but I already feel like I overstayed my welcome at nearby Glade. Not to mention it's really late. Be home as late as far, quickly as possible. Is this your place? 
home in my little shop. I've been living near the river with my husband for some time now. And these parts quite well. Are you sure it's about the Mahapulka? Yes, I know a handy shortcut. Man, you get to the northern bank of the river, you can walk in the park. Moving now, you'll be in the river next to your house. That's right. I believe the old bridge would be the safest way. I won't even think about swimming in these dangerous waters. You hear me? I swim as well as the rocks, so don't worry. I won't even try. I get to the bridge. All right, I'll tell you, but but can you really do a small favor for me? It'd be easy. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what do you need? Once again, I forgot to gather all the necessary ingredients for my special mixture. Please help an old turtle out and gather them for me. Yeah, what you need? The pine cones, some white flowers. And the pollen flower coming right up. Can I take these leaves? Ah, these are a temporary cover until I saw a new decorative curtain. Go ahead, you can have them if you want, but do these, dear. I don't know. They might be a useful in adventure. And feel free to help yourself with these. I'm sure you'll find a better use for them. Of, I don't have any, <laughs> any backpacks, do you? Or do you know how to make one? A backpack? No, sadly, I don't have any like that. But indeed, it would definitely be handy during your journey. You're a wise young lady, indeed. Let's see. Now, for a backpack, you need something durable to store your items, as well as some kind of strap or a rope to easily carry it around on your back. How about your husband? Is he uh, unable to sleep as well? No, oh, no. My husband is missing for some time now. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean. No, it's alright. One day we'll check what happened to the uh, pterosaurs in the area. What about them? You supply us with exotic items and ingredients from faraway places, mushrooms, herbs, and pieces of medicine and spices. For example, one day a pterosaur simply stopped visiting without a single word. I was meant to investigate, but a month has already passed and still no word from him. I'm sure it comes back or at least writes something. Thank you, dear. I should be going now. Yes, take care. Right, can I use the Wait, myself a backpack? Let's have a small backpack. I can get more items. Oh, get my little messenger bag. So I can go get the flowers. I can go get the pine cone. There's more food. I'll take it. It's not ripe yet. Damn it. I wouldn't be surprised if it was ripe. I'll give this back to the turtle. I got some things for you. Here's some flowers. Here's a pine cone. I think this counts as a pine cone. Uh, pine cone. This one's very poisonous, so be careful. How can I get. Maybe I can throw it at the other pine cone. Crab are thrilled by this action. <laughs> Fair. How do I get a pine cone? Can I get a rock with you? Match me a backpack. Look, empty backpack. That's a rather clever idea. Well done. Let's roll for now. Can I get a rock? Aha! There's the rock. It's your pebble. Oh. I was looking to use the rock to throw it at something, not, not as a bonus. 
what else can I do? How can I get that pine cone? Hmm. Ah, there's a rock right here. Now I have two of them. What else can I find? I need a pine cone. Red. Branch is not coming back. Hmm. How can I get up to that? How can I get this? the pine cone up here? I don't know what I need to. Take suggestions. I missed something. <clears throat> Another cluster of liver? Fine, Carter Main. Okay. Hmm. There's a pine cone right here, but I don't know how to get it. I use a, a secret hint. I don't know what the thing was. You manage to find every pebble. Okay. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> I'll see I can grab this again, but. something very obvious that I'm missing. Heck a bit not, something's in there. Can't do anything with the branch. Can't throw this at it. enough to grab that somehow. Is there a secret path or a small rock that I can grab? like something. <laughs> I wonder if I can use the parries that regrow. 
or something. Oh wait, I got it. Got it. Got it. Right there. Stick. Handy. Better watch out. The resin is really sticky. I'll take this later. I tried to apologize for stepping a branch. <laughs> There's a wound on certain types of trees. I take the resin. Get sticky hands. Besides, the branch really took it's covered in resin. Alright, now we know where to go. Use on that. I know what to do. Alright, what if I do this? Probably a better idea than what I was actually. Okay. Can I poke this? Can I poke the. the I choose violence. I have to go get something, and I know what I need to get. Use this on the crab, and I'm gonna extract the crab. Crabo, grabo. Extract the crab. <laughs> Doesn't look very happy about it. Acquired crab on a branch. Uh, it has all the right to be angry. Yeah. Not the best idea. I've acquired a crab. In true point and click, you know, um, manner. Crab. Get it, crab. Alright, crab. You got this lung lady out. Success! The crab flipped the cone. Now just to grab it nice and easy. I deserve that. Well, that didn't go as planned. Yeah, fuck you, crab. <laughs> Pine cone acquired. That crab is a dick. I want to see if it's in its burrow. It's not. <laughs> Alright. It's a pine cone. Here you go. It's all you asked for. Oh, and you're welcome. Well, thank you, dear. You make a great mixture. Uh, curious, what's this special mixture for? Oh, it's it's opium. Maybe it'll help me get my business back on track. I hope you add opium. Sure thing. Alright, now about that bridge. Right, you know, quick and safe way to the bridge. Remember that boulder to the right of here? Behind that boulder is a hidden path. Hard to spot at first, all those bushes and shrubs. If you search the place, you'll find it with ease. A big boulder, you say? Yeah. And signpost, look, morning's already upon us. Much safe will travel during the day. Oh, I see. Wait. You didn't make me do this stuff to wait out the night, did you? What can I say? I'm an old turtle, sometimes need help, dear. You clever bastard. Right, I'll be on my way then. The ingredients, dear. If you wish to leave the forest, follow the bushy trail. Let's find the path out of here. Very boy, you've never path behind it. You have frequent hesitation to travel along the bushy trail. More dinosaurs. Stop running into things. After a bit of walking, you eventually make it safe to the bank. However, the time it took to get here, the sun already came up. The path of the forest is safe, so you'll be easy to get back home in no time. While going through the shrub, you actually dropped the brown cone somewhere. Oh well. You can tell, I like how like most of the ways you can tell it's a female character is by got eyelashes. Lengthy walk, 
as if fade it back to the river. Man, the safe doesn't turn us to the woods, should she be able Where we go? Turn to the tank ships. Dailing won't change a thing. Take the side. Are those teeth marks? Oh, someone tried eating the sign. Are you stuck? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't notice you there. Is there something you need, young miss? A pair of comfy slippers on today's issue of Palestinian Daily, but the cross <laughs> the cross the will be fine for now. Drop that young miss nonsense. Sounds stupid. My name's Sniff. Just stick to that. Oh, sorry, Sniff, but the bridge? Can't really move out of the way right now. What's the matter? Why not? Oh, see. That's embarrassing. I got stuck. I'm worried about destroying the bridge if I move any further. What? Are you serious? Well, they have scrambled eggs. You know what? Hold on. But, but are you. Climbing over you, big guy. I need to get their signs as quickly as possible. As Niff tries to climb the uh, Uoplosophilus, he starts to laugh maniacally. No, wait, stop! Stop, stop, stop laughing! <laughs> it's ticklish. Fortunately, Niff jumped off before she could fall into the river. For pity's sake, man, I almost fell into the river because of you. Oh, sorry, you see, I'm quite ticklish. Can you pull my leg here? Come on, I'm attached this way. How'd you end up like that? How'd you get stuck here anyway? You should just stick to the other side of the bridge. It's too narrow for you. Hey, the bridge is fine. I have to call the cross. In fact, I cross every morning to eat the tasty fruits growing on the glade nearby. I could, eat, I could definitely see someone had one too many of them. Watch your words, little miss. You're talking to a powerhouse of muscles and armor here. Besides, it's all fault of that stupid Trudon. Trudon yet. For their usual trickery, I wouldn't have panicked and gotten stuck here. A powerhouse of muscles armor defeated by a Trudon twerps, not the mightiest warrior in the land of. I'd say their way of intimidation is quite convincing. <sighs> Bridge jam, took the powerhouse, Trudons. They are doing better and better. Oh, I remember a snake trying to get over me earlier, and I, I believe I threw him into the river in accident. No! <laughs> Dude! What the? I saw him swimming. I'm sure we made it to the other side. Snakes are good swimmers, right? He's really lucky because there aren't many crocodiles in the river at dawn. I feel really bad if you threw him in a river full of crocodiles. Are you serious? Yeah. Fortunately, my big croc, that big croc, my brother and I found out the woods and looked anywhere near the wall. How many hazards can we put in a single piece of land? Not a single one, sure. Hi, why not? Mission your brother? What about him? Maybe he can help you out. Ah, sadly he's on the other side. To be honest, I'm not even sure if he knows I'm stuck here. Marvelous. How do I bother? I'm supposed to meet him near the river. The river now falls, so I guess I'll be uh, a bit late. If you find me soon, I'm getting really hungry now. Ah, he's a dude who has a priority. Are there any other bridges around here? Right not. The nearest one is a one day march from here. You're joking, right? I'm seriously in a hurry to get to the other side as soon as possible. Well, there are a few small islets on the east. The current is strong. You should be able to swim between them. Great advice for someone who can't swim. Thanks. Alright. Sorry. What happened to this place anyway? Fort Skedden Woods must be a nice, cozy place to visit. This place feels so empty and desolate. Don't you know? It used to be great a place to visit back in the day, but then Wahapoka was uh, built a whole lot of folks glad to move into the city. A handful of us remaining here. The ribbon now is formed with gangs and predators quite easily. No matter how many crocodiles we chase away, they're just appearing and appearing. It's actually pretty scary and sad now that I think about it. Yeah, the crocodiles weren't enough. Everything started falling apart when the last Trudon gang moved in over the port. Those perks racked off tough and obnoxious. The entire game was just too much for our little community to handle. My folks are leaving this place because of them one by one. Apparently only me and my brother inside this thing. Okay. That was borderline depressing. Alright, I gotta go, bye. Can you forget about that thick armor to take off? Don't worry, I know how to defend myself. Oh, Sniff, wait up. What, what now? It's a favor to ask. Alright, what is it? 
exhausted everybody a chance to, uh, brother, explain my uh, situation to him, and that he should hurry up. He's a red, uh, Euplicus, a red dinosaur. Ah, afraid they might come along and attack your vine, huh? No, I just haven't had breakfast yet, and I'm getting really hungry now. He looks so sad. He doesn't even know about the berries. Nearly six hours. It's not the big, it's not the longest one I've done. I think my alien I beat Colonial Marines in one I think in one setting. That was like a nine hour stream. Crocodile. Hi crocodile. Be gone. Whew. Set your kind words, he refuses to move. <laughs> a ferocious crocodile. <laughs> that wouldn't be advised to take the crocodile. Fair. See where the jump is too strong. Only I could walk over it. Yeah, that's a crocodile sign. We'll leave that there for now. It's a warning sign for crocs. He's watching me. With all this stuff. These yummy fruits. I'm gonna take the flowers. Look at me. Those look so nice that they couldn't resist. Grab a stick. Grab a stick. Acquired stick. We have some fruit. Oh, I was gonna give it to the. Uh, I was gonna give it to the guy who's stuck. Wooden log. Pretty piece of wood. All right. Yeah, I've been talking to the log. What about it? All right, well, I got some of the goodies from here. I bet I can get him unstuck if I go back to the, uh, the turtle lady. Because she makes, like, ointments and stuff. He's back! I want to yell at him again. Because he is mean to me. He's grumpy, and he's still sleeping. Take him. He's like steel. Steel bird. Uh, I think I can, can I make a. Okay, I can't do that while he's around. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna drop these logs over. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna drop these pieces of wood over here. Let's just leave those over there. <coughs> drop solid log. Uh, Christ, I'm a fucking him. Hey! No reaction. What if I use it? What if I poke him with this thing? Oh. Yo! Ah, yes, the one who works wonders each time. Well, you again? How ironic. We seem to be running into each other a whole lot lately. Yeah. By luck, we're violently waking up other creatures, some kind of weird tradition among you kind. Besides, where'd you hurry to get to that stupid hometown of yours? Dug your barge across the bridge now. You think your dried up raisin of ring can identify hanging slabs of wood as a bridge? If only you were as good as giving helpful hints as you were as insulting other. But no, you can't cross it right now. Some clumsy, uh. <laughs> That all got stuck on the bridge's entrance, but I don't have the slightest idea how that way. Build a raft, swim across, complain about the turtle about it. Just stop bothering me. I'm gonna bother him every time. <laughs> this seems safe. Uh, hello?
That's a big crocodile. Okay, what I keep? Okay, I got an idea. Is this on the mouth? <laughs> Ow. Okay, what if I use the stick to get the meat? You stop carefully and pale the trunk to the side. That was way too close. I can use this to bother the other, or I can distract the other crocodile. Hey! You just scared away. I lured the riverbank with a tasty treat. Hmm. What if I just drop it in the water? That one needs a round. Still laughing about. <laughs> I always say I didn't. I tried to avoid saying I want to drop the log because it sounds like you're taking a shit. Whoa! Oh no! <laughs> no idea what I just witnessed. <laughs> Crab people. There's like an achievement called Crab People. <laughs> and it says R angry. What does that say? Where is close? There's no attached to it. Shot this close further notice. Went fishing. Be right back. Hello? Nobody answers the door, obviously. Take Elder Turtle. What are you doing here? You aren't lost, are you? No, I found the path, but uh, it wouldn't hurt to see you some advice right now. Oh, well, what's gonna happen? Even now, it's exactly up to my safety standards. This darn place is crawling with crocodiles. That's odd, but look what happens. Just keep the bridge safe and free from those carnivores. Those locals here aren't really that useful. <laughs> They're currently being stuck in the bridge. Oh, well, I don't know how to help you with the bridge, but I believe I have a thing for that crocodile problem. What do you mean? Are that ingredients together for me? Yeah, I can use them to make whatever that is. A crocodile repellent. Or a crockway, as I like call it. One of the many things you can get from my humble store. You did read the sign, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I did. It's my newest invention. I'm very proud of it. You can have one if you do me a small favor. Not again. Just joking. Yeah, you can have a free sand. Alright, I think, wait, oh my god, what is that smell? The other ingredients, of course. Crocodiles love it, I swear. Easy to them anywhere you want with them. But wait, there's more. I can take a nibble of the repellent. It tastes horrible, makes them run away crying. Okay, that's all well and good, but such a small fish. With all these wonders, it's a bit hard to believe. Sniff, do you see the crocodile in my fishing spot area? Oh. Yeah, good one, you got me. Trust me, dear. Just throw one at crocodile, sit back, and enjoy the show. Thanks. Trust me, dear. It's a small sample. It may not work on larger predators. Keep that in mind when you traverse the river, understand? Have a safe journey. You little fishy. So I guess it's not going to work on the giant crocodile back there. If I can get a bigger sample of it later. One, two, one, two. I mentioned it smells horribly. It makes my backpack smell awful. Right, back to the river. Throw that right here. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna. Okay, here. 
Let's see those backyard baseball for tickets that can finally pay off. Prepare for the grand throw and... He didn't like that. That's what you call effective. But you don't want to know what it was made of. Yeah, I'm still going. Did you have a good nap? I defeated the entirety of Norway. And now we're playing Zniff's Adventure. We have one more log, damn it. So close. Can I carry the log and like... Aha! Pretty neat idea of getting through the river. Huh? This guy, he's just laying here. Aren't snakes supposed to be more mobile? Yes. And uh, who might you be? This is a friendly snake by the name Sam. Hi, Sam. I'm Snip. <clears throat> uh, if they try to eat me, they're probably bad predators. Or good predators, depending on how you look at them. Pleased to meet you, Snip. It seems you want to get to the other side of the river as well, yes. That's right. What are you doing here in the middle of the river, though? A river full of crocs, I might add. Oh, I have a date this afternoon with the other side of the river. I woke up early to make a good first impression. It seems all my efforts were ruined by that blue uh, Uo plus Cephalus. The bridge guy? Heh, <laughs> well, you can throw me in the river. I went to the same fit as you, if uh, not worse. Oh, so you already met him, huh? I wouldn't be skipping on those slippery logs in order to get to the side of the river if I had. Oh, shucks. We're both stuck here. <clears throat> Aren't you swim? Don't think we're good at swimming? Sure we are. The nights have been cold lately and the water is much warmer either. I would have lost a whole bunch of energy trying to stay afloat in this freezing rapid current. I might drown up into the water again. And boy, all that swimming may be exhausted and hungry. I can still use a meal right now. Now there. I don't feel like anybody's snack, neither now nor never. No, 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 that's not what I meant. I was rather thinking about some tasty treat for your backpack. Oh, I don't know. It's on the menu today. Maybe that chunk of meat would help? Oh, definitely. Could you share it with me, pretty please? I would gladly take it, but, but sadly a bit lacking in the hand department, as you might have noticed. <clears throat> Any ideas regarding the big guy? Unless you want to wait. Oh, it's really so he wriggles his way out. Well, you try to pull him out from the other side, but either way, you need to cross the river first. Eh, I guess we're stuck here. Look at the bright side. We weren't spotted by any pterosaurs yet. From what I heard, they consider us snakes as delicacy. It's scary if you think about it. Well, a pair of wings would be useful in that scenario, to be honest. Just imagine the possibilities. Maybe not. Okay. There's a reason we have a saying a flying creature is never to be just. Now you're just overreacting. Besides, for a fact, no pterosaur has been appearing here lately. True, verified info. Don't put out. I once saw a large tip. Yep, definitely overreact. This whole game has really cute art. Alrighty, I'll be going now. I'll see what I can do about the whole thing. Take care, Sam. Sure thing, Sniff. See you around. I want to put the snake in my backpack. Go. Oh, now leave the stick. Hmm, what? Never mind. Well, how's that for a grub? Yes, that really hit the spot. Thank you. Wow, he only he didn't expend his S's. And he ate the whole stick, too. Sure, no problem. So, are you able to swim the other side now? I sure am, but I really should have paid the payment, right? Well, I'm going to lend you a hand. Uh, a tail. Thanks. <laughs> what do you have in mind? Well, 
That was big. I thought about that log and crossed the river. However, just one log is too short for my plan. You're gonna need a second one on the other hand. Two logs, eh? See what I can do. I already have one. Yes! That will do the trick. Oops, sir. And this one. Two logs. Great. Give me a second. He did wrap it around himself, wrap himself around it like he did. Ah, you made a bridge. Quick, you hold on much longer. You got a snake bridge. Look at him go. Had little legs. Sorry, I had a cough. Let's just say. Trudon territory. Proceed at your own risk. A waterfall. A bridge. Good look of Trudon. It's on the other side. What does this say? Waterfall. This is waterfall in Polish, which is some horrible made up language. Hey! It's a red. How do I say his name? I gotta look, I gotta look at the, uh, the uh, encyclopedia. I don't know how to say that name. Encyclopedia. Pictures. You are Plocephalus. You are Plocephalus. Okay, there we go. Let's see, the two brothers can truly feel safe in their steady armor, even places like scary scattered woods. Lots of knobs and plates called osteoderms. Uh, Eoplocephalus can make even larger spiders like Aspidotosaurus think twice before approaching. While the brothers are calm and kind of other creatures, they aren't the most simple dinosaurs around. They're very big and heavy after all. For their size, Eoplocephalus are known to accidentally destroy various things with their bony tail, including precious pottery and other valuable crafts. They have to prefer to live in places like this. No faces to break here. They're herbivores. They eat a lot. I mean, a lot. Maybe too much in the case of larger brothers. Not as grumpy when my rest of this younger, young and vocal uh, Hesperonus lives in scattered wood and strokes. Great as nothing of small size, is one of the smallest of American dinosaurs. You often see him perched on high branches, just perfect for avoiding being bullied by the nasty Trudon gang, or for mocking others and getting away with it. Well, he can't fly, he can fly in a way to safety from dangerous situations or when our noisy heroine is around. Hesperonishes are carnivorous, but since they are so small, they aren't going to be aggravated by many. In fact, they can be useful for catching pests, like small animals and insects. Western Claw. You got any other new ones? No. Animals. Troublesome mammals like rats. Oh cool, you can, you can tell when like, they, uh, like, the time period they're from, which is neat. This game is education. Atticus. I heard Elodie Turtle with a knack for doing business, living near one of the rivers meanders. A long time ago, before Raja Fuku was informed, she settled in scattered woods up for a fresh start, where she also met her future husband. Knowledge and viewing tail rescue species became popular among natives with her potions, syrups, tinctures, and even dish soaps and salt. That's her business came to business. Turtle traditional tinctures have got it all. Sadly, scattered woods has changed dramatically over the years. With more and more crocodilians appearing in the river, her little house isn't visited that much anymore. But with her hard shell, she doesn't mind that much. The less fortunate visitors do, or rather did. Look at her newly minted crockway with business back on track. Oedipus. Crocodile. Look how fat, flat, fat fuck Friday. Crocodilians don't like dinosaurs and vice versa. They look like they want to be friendly towards you. And since many are crocodilian, or many families decided to have it driven now, you shouldn't, you should be especially careful around the river. 
Things weren't always like that, though. The bank of the ribbon now were once safe and free from the reptiles. However, more and more have sort of migrating here after the city of Vajapoko was settled, likely because of also delicious treats, once you live in said city. The crocodilian population around these parts is, keeps increasing as more come from far places to see what all the fuss is about. If you're particularly unlucky, you might rent this a 10 meter long uh, one. These reptiles come from far away estuaries, where they fed on water creatures and dinosaurs got too close to snapping jaws. See, once this valley open, they do that to put themselves. I recommend you leave it alone. Dinosuchus! Terrible crocodile! Snake! I like a snake. He got little legs in the back. He's like a proto snake. He's still not fully snake yet. The limbless wonder of the reptilian world. Snakes seem to have first appeared around the Cretaceous, but it's hard to tell exactly when. Some early snakes. No. The bottom half is robotic, actually. Uh, some early snakes still have their hind limbs, but these were vestigial and little use locomotion. These reptiles are exclusively vegan, so they don't stand any chance against average size animals. You've got two little legs. Sam is an example of such uh, uh, early snakes. He was getting ready for the date, but of course the big plans were ruined by uh, Euplocephalus, who got stuck between the bridge anchors. Take this dinosaur through the snake into the cold waters by accident, trapping exhaust them in a small islet in the middle. Seems to have an unhealthy fear of terrors. They originated from a lizard ancestor. I'm not at the ancestor was a furrowing or marine animal. Early snakes don't have visible wings. He looks so sad and tired. <coughs> no new floor, we already got that. Locations? Ribbon now. <coughs> the ribbon now. Primary source of fresh water and fish for many species. By scattered wood into two parts. I'd go to Antarctica. I wouldn't want to live there, though. I mean, there's no internet connection. I couldn't stream anymore. The river does water flow to the east, passing through Wahapuka, and eventually the Great River, the largest river in Polisemia. Along the way, crashing with a mighty roar, the river does waterfall serves as a famous tourist spot. You can throw a pebble in to bring you good luck. Beware, though. Currents around the waterfall are unpredictable. Many careless folk have vanished in the river's deep water. Only the crocodiles, turtles, and fish know how to swim through the water. Safe. Crab. Crab. Crab battle. <laughs> Crabs appeared on Earth at least as early as the Jurassic period. These invertebrates and also backbone, flattened body protected by a thick covering and external skeleton called an exoskeleton. Beware the two large pinches that they can pinch. All right, let me see. Uh, um, I got an energy drink over here. <laughs> Liquid! Slurred! <laughs> ah, uh, I love Metal Gear Solid 4. Yeah, I love Metal Gear Solid in general. All right, random hat. Just a minute. It's hat time. Spin the wheel. What are we going to get? We get Isara hat. All right, let me get that one. Let me see. I just got to rotate it real quick. So give me a minute. Uh, How does Moonbase Alpha say liquid in like a funny way? Ha. I borrowed this from a witch that I know. Don't tell her though. She might get mad. Shh. <clears throat> this hat was made by Drake. Alright, back to dinosaurs. Cap oh yeah. Durable leaves. Is a mysterious small plant. 
Trying to do it for a lead, not even as big materials. So when you find these things covered, so dry these boots are going to have little to no use. Appreciate them while they're fresh, but keep looking for a better bag material. Pine cone. Organ conifers. Females cones are woody, juicy, and the male ones are green, smaller green, juice olive. This one's a female cone. These are uh, sticky egg cones. It's poisonous. These organs are produced by members of the Cyclades. The conifers, they're male and female cones bearing pollen and seeds respectively. They're poisonous nature. They aren't many uses in these cones. Crockaway. The turtle's traditional tinctures, newest products. Crockaway has all has it all become an all-time bestseller around these parts of the woods. It's a top-notch durable material filled with all sorts of nasty things. It's rumored of poisonous. I have to as a sort of core ingredient. It's up with the most tasty meat scent. Crockaway is sure to avoid potentially lethal kind of a reptilian, but throw at the product at the reptile. That's a you let it do the trick. Satisfaction guaranteed your money back if you escape somehow. It's a witch hat that I stole from a witch. Look my extras, I got two pebbles. Concept art for the dinosaurs. Look how bored the dad looks. It's Sniff's family. That's how they wear their wallet. On their wrists. We haven't seen this thing yet. We saw it earlier. Stuff. Get that little dot. It's like. I think so. I remember seeing posts for this in a, on um, on Twitter as it was getting, like as they were working on it. Look, Drake. It's like a little. Uh, it's like a little. Um, box, like ground box. And their little skip track. How to create a backpack. Root. Unused red fruit pop up sketch. Crab escape pop up sketch. <laughs> this little thing. The turtle. The brothers. But yeah, little adventure games. Let's talk with a brother. Wait, and uh, you open the stuff with us? Wait a second, is it? Yes, do you need something? Hey, uh, what's up with you, bro? You perhaps begging for your brother? Yes, I am. How did you know? Who are you? It's a sweet soul named Zniff. Yep, it's pronounced Zniff. Uh, I happen to stumble across your brother. If my calculations are correct, he could be surely use some of your assistance. Oh, good grief. What do you do this time? As basic it sounds, you got stuck on the bridge entrance. I have no words. That's the second time this week. I told him to go easy on those brutes. He definitely looked like he had one too many. Or two. Or a hundred. Ugh. I could use a sniff. I could definitely use a pair of, well, hands. In your turn, maybe I could walk you through the forest region? It's not a very safe place for someone of your uh, kind. Look at all those predators looking around here. Uh, onwards! Okay, let's go. Where are we going? Yeah, it's all like hand animated. <laughs> the Trudons! Uh oh. Hey, to you again, out of my sight, all of you. I need to get to the bridge. What's your problem, huh? Don't you shake your knickers in a twist. You haven't done anything this time. Yeah, right. <laughs> if I believe anything comes with your filthy mouth, out of my way, now. Ugh. Fine, whatever, you win. We'll walk away quietly. You better watch your back next time. Same goes to you, diner lady. Next time you're going to taste my bone club. Get out of here before I lose what's left of my patience. I didn't even talk to them. You won't be so lucky next time. Boing. And they just hop away. 
Master Shudan. Uh, who was I? Ah, yes, my brother and the bridge. Hmm. Sounds like my media updated. What do we need help with here? Let's do with you. Oh boy, at least some Trudon and Rachel make it. Those guys are a total pain in the. Even more than you think. It's rarely a day without them causing some major trouble around here. More so than usual right now, since the hatch has just started. I don't even want to think about the hatchlings. Well, anyway, let's not waste any more time. Yeah, right, we're in dinosaur Poland. My brother awaits. Come on, lift. Lead the way, pretty please. But why me? You're much lighter than me. Too, uh. People in Cephalus might be a bit too much for the bridge to handle. Oh, alright. Kind of across the bridge. Hmm. Bro, oh, this bridge sure is creepy. I'm a bad feeling about this. Stop, that tickles! Uh-oh. I don't want to fall! Uh-oh. Zip! Uh-oh. Zip can't swim. Oh no! <laughs> well, that was lucky slash unlucky. My backpack caught a stick. Which didn't. <laughs> I don't know. That would be really brutal though. How did I end up here? What's going on? I see was falling into the waters of Riven Na. Somehow I was knocked out down here. There's a small stream dripping from the cave ceiling. Must be directly under the river. Excuse me. This thing gets better and better. Dead fish! That's awful. You don't want to put this in your backpack. Are you sure? My poor fist would fall on the street and end up on the ground. Sadly, it's a long dead. Which is a rather uh, interesting smell. It must be really long dead. Take the waterfall. Sadly, it's a bit too far away to have a drink. Flies are back. Main cavern. Whoa, pretty dark. Better watch my step here. Yeah, put your mouth on that part. Drink the entire river. <laughs> Everything fell out of my backpack. All the food I ate. Smelly tunnel. Bones. That's strange now. This looks so old and dry, I might collapse. Except if you touch it. Oh. I want to talk to the bone, and she's like, no. Yeah, it broke. I'll take the bone. What general ego effect? You decided to pick it up anyway. It didn't smell that bad. Talk to the bone. I don't know what you expect to happen when you talk to the bone. We got a flat stone. Petroleum, what is that, petroleum seat? <laughs> Gasoline. Yeah. Oh, petroleum seat. You've heard these in the but you've never actually seen one yourself. This sort of that weird smell. It smells awful and you get dirty. What if I put this... Six bone oily. Oily petroleum bone. Naturally occurring petroleum. What's this? Oh, I thought it was poop. Mushroom. Hold on yet. Oh. Pointy stick. Stone. Take the dry leaves. 
We have a bunch of these. I can make my own torch. This is the mud. Yeah, dry leaves to the soap bone. Can't reach it. I can use this. What'd you miss? Oh. Then don't miss, dummy. Oh, oh. Caught it. Wow. You caught it midair. Nice job, Sniff. Fired a pointy stone. So I put them together. Yes, a little bit patient to start a fire using these two. I made a portable fire starter kit. Let's try again. This would be that hard, right? One hour later. <laughs> this is true. It's very difficult sometimes for that to happen. <laughs> I made a torch. She looks excited about the fire. I would be excited about the fire too. What if I use this? Oh, I want to use this on the petroleum seat. You crazy? Yeah. Secret room. There's a lot of pebbles in here. The light, our, they all sound the same, so you're not sure which ones you need. Got the torch. Aha! One of many pebbles. Gotcha. <laughs> oh no! Well, that was close. Yeah, I thought they were like eggs or something else. Torch on. Boulder. More boulders. What if I if I use this on the fish? That won't help the fish. Understandable. Oh, going mushroom. I guess I shouldn't talk to the mushrooms. I don't want to eat them, I just want to grab them. Now, those boulders, that way is blocked. I guess we can go this way. Well, this looks safe. I don't know anything. I stole the hat. Long rope. This is a bonfire. I've been here for quite a long time. I can't really use anything with that. I can take the wood. I will come here down here. Can I talk to the body? He's not going to talk anymore now. We're going to move on. Can I take the belt skeleton? Oh. What do the wall scribblings say? Talk to them? <laughs> no. What does it say? It's some sort of journal. Let's take a look. Let's see. <clears throat> talk about some incredible luck and a horrible fate. I didn't drown there, but I end up in this dread cave instead. We find a way out of here. If I lose my mind in this overwhelming darkness, those mushrooms don't help much. It's my thought I finally found the exit and immediately collapsed. Put a source of petroleum and some twigs. Make a pleasant bonfire. Yeah, yeah. Having dead people in caves is a very common occurrence in games, even like children's games. Another passage on the left, there's no way I'll be able to cross that chasm. I found a piece of rope. I'm going to cross the chasm after all. Drop snap. I must fell in that pit. Somebody please help me. Time is now a big round circle of things. It's so loud these days, it's completely dark. Lost either myself of lost either lost either myself of else the whole universe somewhere. This is a little gibberish, it's some random doodling. You feel very sad reading this. Now 
That's a bit darker than the inferred, you know, he died. Maybe those? Okay, now I got... We'll not let that go in vain. The rib cage, I have some sticks. I wonder if I can use these. Petroleum. I don't know, I thought I could set them on fire. What if I use this petroleum. Okay, fine. What if I use this? I made a ladder, somehow. Getting that huge thing in your backpack would be a challenge, though. I did it! It's in my backpack. Um, I was adjusting the game resolution up or down, or should I just adjust that? Um, well, the game is like an 800 by 600 square. Well, it's its aspect is like, what is that aspect ratio? But it's like 800 by 600, you know? So, the game is full screen for me, but the interactable area is only this. So. Mushroom. Acquired mushroom. What's the worst that could happen? It was alright. Four pebbles left to find in this location. Right, maybe I'll reach the hole if I get out of the cave. Hope that'll be sufficient enough to do it. not hurt anything. Well, that isn't great. So much for the hole and your only way out. I thought it would be too easy. What was that loud thud? We came to the main cavern. Ladder acquired. Yeah, I'm turning the torch off. Oh, the boulders have fallen. <clears throat> Can I use this to go right here? Okay. <clears throat> what if I use this to get to the fungus. Okay, fine. I'll leave the mushrooms alone. It's too dark. Okay. Whoa. It's weird. They're walking in a cavern like this, but you feel a very familiar feeling. I don't know if you read about it. Heard the story from the elder. You see it in your mind's eye. Wait, the Undercave? The place you brought a boat but never really believed existed? These poor ducks in the caverns and these women uh, are real, and you're experiencing it right now. So it wasn't just a fairy tale after all. Game auto save. That looks like a, a banana. Get the banana! Potassium. I've played Death Stranding. I know how this works. Easy. Jump! Jump! Yeah. I can't get a stick out of it though. That was way too close. That's why I don't want to go back anywhere. Take a single twig. 
memory of my my time here. Take chasm. You talk to the chasm? That's too deep for you. Haha. <laughs> Ah, secret path. Dark chamber. Oh ho! Stuck pebble. I could use this. Oops, sorry, I hit my mic. Help you get your basic motor skills and simply try picking it up. Okay, fine. All the places. Look at that pebble. I am not new bonus. What do we get? Pebble defense. It's a little game, I think. First move around, space to pebbles at angry dinosaurs. I'm throwing rocks at dinosaurs, but they're angry. I'm sure it doesn't make anything worse. favorite dinosaurs. I really, really, really like like the Compsogathus because they're very small and they would make a good pet. And I would just like, like hug one like I would like a cat or a dog. But I also like Velociraptors as we know them now because they're like th like the same except birds. Those are cute too. And the classic, what is it? Um, what, you know, 1990 Velociraptors were from Jurassic Park. Those are really cool too. But it's probably Compsogathus, if nothing else. But I choose one very specifically because they're small and, I believe, cuddleable. And they make funny noises in the Jurassic Park movies. Wait, 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 wait. Uh... Compsognathus, that's how you say it. That's how it is. In Jurassic World, they uh, or the Lost World, they attack a little kid. Yeah, that's what it is. Comp sock nuthis. Oh, it's pinged on something. I have to look at the note. Okay. What's that? Tiny pebbles. Tiny pebbles. These aren't shiny pebbles I'm looking for. You're alone in the dark cave with a new Anyway. Hell yeah, I got rocks. Hmm. No, you don't have enough damage. Leave the twig alone. <laughs> Sorry, my fat dinosaur ass broke it. Apart from the cats, I'm not going to do much here. Hmm. What else is there to do here? Lights out. Aha! Dead end. <sighs> Finishing up my energy drink. What's this? Some kind of sign. And uh, on the right. Hmm. Must have been the hole that I accidentally collapsed. What's with the left side, though? Looks like someone really doesn't want anybody to go in that direction. Let's go to this path instead. Carve sign, black paint. Show haste and determination. Unfortunately, get anything reasonable from those signs. Mushroom time. There's a hidden cavern here. A heavy rock. 
have you ever had to carry? A chilling pebble. We're just chilling. Yay! Got a mushroom and a rock. Don't bother it, because it's a rock after all. I'm gonna turn on the torch. Another oh, that's something else. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, just an alternate path to where we were. That's what a pebble sense say. You tell me you're concentrated. I need to eat something. That's what a pebble sense tell me. Pepper sense, go. Two more pebbles in this there in this place. The stone wall. <clears throat> Push the wall. You don't have a ladder anymore. Not get out with your bare fist, also Wolfie. But I can throw pebbles at that. Maybe you could just tell me with that boulder up there. It's a Rube Goldberg machine. Spot where you didn't throw the stone. At the stick. Oh. A better way to bring that boulder down. Where else can I throw it? Oh, the stalactites. Pow. Left stalactite. That one. That one's too stable. That one. How about this one again? Hmm. What if I throw the heavy rock at it? <laughs> That's what I thought. Use this twig on it. We'll do this instead. And then we'll try to we'll use it without the torch and see. Sad. Oh. Property damage. Expect what happens, and if a golden mushroom. Oh yeah, stress you out. Maybe pop your giant, your giant pebbles. Oh well. Heavy stone. They dropped my heavy stone. That's another heavy stone, though. <clears throat> I want more heavy stone. for his cap. There's a bunch. Doesn't seem edible though. Well, let's take it. Uh, my parents taught me not to touch any of the mushrooms I get out of my bare hands. What if I poke it with a twig? Well, what if I... that? I'll have to grab that with something else in a minute then. I'll be back for you. That's it. it. Says elaborate boulder trap.
this one side. Wandering into the undercave is prohibited. That's never stopped me. Let's go to the stalagmite labyrinth. There's a pebble. Reward pebble. I must have it. Like that part in Wayne's World. She will be mine. Oh yes. She will be mine. I mean, he wants a guitar really bad. <clears throat> it's not really much of a labyrinth, is it? I will eat this. I need a labyrinth pebble and a climbing pebble. Got it. Oh. Look how good she is at this. The Ziff doesn't need no. Torch wandering by memory. Those big eyes got to be good for something, right? All right, got to find a climbing pebble. Moss. <gasps> Take the moss. Search the moss for. Let you feel fresh air flowing some of the openings. Means the exit from the undercave. Take the moss. Can't dig through it with my bare hands. If I use the stone. Okay, I guess that didn't work. <laughs> I happen to be right. It's gonna take a while. <gasps> we did it. Exclamation mark. Yeah, it's right there, top kind of thing. Almost. Escape! Ah, freedom. Wait, what? Emerge from the cave of rather bizarre and surreal scenes presented to you. If you still seem underground, you can clearly see green plants and mushrooms growing. Not only that, but you can feel a nice, gentle breeze. The whole area is even bathed in sunlight, which only adds to your confusion. It looks to be shining in the distance. Hmm. <clears throat> Since you're outside, you need to block out the burning torch for now. You might leave the torch here in case you want to turn to the cave later. You're going to be needing it right now, and it's pretty bright anyway. What is this, Mushroom Kingdom? Haha. <laughs> What's that say? No entry beyond this point. Well, that'll stop me. Lower burrow. Hmm. Take the lower burrow. Could be anything inside there. You feel like jamming your head inside. Hello? That was a hole. First of three. What's inside? Let me put, put a rock in it. Why would you want to put it in the burrow? I don't know. Hello? The top burrow. Alright, well, let's go see what's uh, going on with the little dinosaur we saw earlier. 
mammal creature. Is that some sort of rat? Small mammal, you go hiding behind a strange mushroom. It's a rat. Is that unified set of dinosaur language? <laughs> It's a rat. What does that say? Caves to the right, gateways to the left, village to the bottom. There is a village around here. Unusual mushroom. Check the mushroom. It doesn't answer. That's a mushroom. Let's go to the village first, then. The large mushroom. What are we in? Morrowind? Source of wind and sun. Okay, the large crack in the dome. Anything else? Oh, okay, mushroom possum. You Edward. Speak outsider. <laughs> and my favorite quote ever from Morrowind is a uh, that you hear from across the town in the middle of an ash storm. You just hear everyone sniffling like they're in your ear. <gasps> hey, over here! Get the dinosaurs! They're like birds. Wait a second. I don't recall seeing you in the village. Uh, are you... Huh? I got dumped in an undercave after nearly drowning in Riven now. Oh, so the undercave is not a dead-end corridor? Is there actually a way out? Look, I interrupt you, I really do, but I'm as confused as you right now. What's the meaning of this? Where am I? Ah, I'm sorry, where am I matter? My name is Tra. Welcome to the village of Fungila. My name is Nif. What? what? I say Fungila? The village inside the mountain I used to lead? About when I was younger? Huh? Definitely explain a few things I've seen here. Alright. Yes, that's our village, but please, would you mind sharing with me how you ended up here? Uh, I, I was washed up in the undercave after having a near fatal encounter with waters of Riven. And no, the first of the caves, I don't really see any exit, per se. Yeah, all female creatures have eyelashes. That's how you can tell them apart. Like, I don't know if you follow. Is it Twist CK on Twitter? Um, they used to draw their character without the eyelashes, and then eventually they just started putting them on. He's like, yeah, I'm a female artist. They hit the they hit the, the eyelashes. They didn't have the eyelashes at first because female artists like don't don't be taken as serious. So yeah, it's actually a thing. But yeah, I don't know how else we're gonna tell the dinosaurs apart other than I don't know. Do you want like a we can get like a wasp? It might not. They also might, yeah, they might simply have eyelash. That's a shame. We could definitely use one right now. Yeah? Why? Our chief will explain it the best in his death. Besides, it's never too as the village gathering has just started. What, 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 chief? What gathering? You couldn't be any less specific now, could you? Come now, as I said, our chief will explain everything to you. Besides, as a newcomer, it's your duty to report to the village officials, you know. But, alright, I mean, Lead the way. You were dragged along the meeting. However, as soon as you arrived, the meeting came to an end. And indeed, there is still an insect running loose in our village. The families and food supplies might be in grave danger. So as I said before, you mustn't take any risks. If you ever see any suspicious individuals, please notify the authorities immediately. Hey, what's going on? It's all the commotion. Oh, yes, this. A thief is lurking around the village. <clears throat> Actually, many valuable things are causing all sorts of chaos. She is eager as ever to catch them, as you've already heard. Seriously, so much trouble with one petty thief? The little one over here? I like all of them. This one is so angry right here. It's like a little, like, angry Bulbasaur. That is all. We need to adjourn. You may go now. 
So everybody left confused at their task and chores, but Chief remained seated. Ah! Chief, that's her! That's the girl from the other cave! Hey, you! Come here! <clears throat> Great heavens! Who are you? How'd you get here? <laughs> Explain yourself this instant! Sorry, like the other cave, Chief. She's the one who destroyed the seal! Uh, I'm. I'm Zenith. I had to destroy to get out. But the river flushed me out the dark cave. And the river? Vivena. So you end up in the other cave, falling in the cold waters of Riven. Get that right. It must have been my lucky day. I thought I was done for. Let's see, I'm happy you managed to survive. I heard some of the cave streams come directly from Riven now. Too bad to form my opening. We would all definitely benefit from an additional cave exit. About that, I actually did find one hole in the cave ceiling on the far end of the under cave. You did? Is there a way out of the cave? Well, sorry to break your bubble. I, uh, Jimmy was blocked by a natural landslide. Oh, unfortunate. You guys can't be helped. Forget my curiosity. The under cave is still a rather uncharted territory for us, which may sound quite silly because it's so close to our village. We're actually tried exploring the cave numerous times. We've lost too many folks in these dark and dangerous twisty tunnels, not much the possible threat of predator converging into the unexplored depths. So the last chief decided to install several traps inside to seal the entrance of the undercave, but it's not a surprise to see someone emerge from it, especially right now. Hmm, I'll explain those weird things I found along the way. Well, I have to order the cave to just be resealed then. So, what do you plan to do next? Oh, I'm just trying to find my way home. So if you could put me to the exit of the village, I would be mostly... Sorry? It's not possible. There's no exit for the time being. Come again? Did someone make a natural landslide around you? The main gate of the village, the only entrance and exit, was demolished by the thief. Indeed, our village is situated inside a hollow mountain. While it's safe from dangers of the outside world, there's only one entrance and one exit for Fungila, and that would be our main village gate. Until we catch the thief and rebuild the gate, nobody can get in or out of the village. To explain, or which, why we asked about any undergate exits, but it seems that's also out of the question. We're not really open for any newcomers, but given the circumstances, I officially welcome you to the village today. Hey, hey, I can't really tell when the gate will function, so you've got an immediate but temporary citizenship. There's only one major around you. Everyone has to be something that will contribute to the well-being of the village. We don't respect slackers, but rather honest and hardworking citizens. With that in mind, I hope you'll find your place among us. Will you listen? There's a really no strict requirement for your job. You're pretty much free to do whatever you wish. Chief, what if she's the thief? I'm so sure it's Stefan. I considered it. However, the cave was sealed long before that fiend started their thieving rampage. No one has ever touched the seal until now, so it's very unlucky she's associated with the thief. Now please, accept these. Uh, there's... Money. I'll find a pocket full of tiny shells and hand it to you. Little shells are our local currency. These can have an easier start in our village. <laughs> but please, listen! And speaking of the thief, stay away from a certain blue uh, struthiomimus. Got it? He's our prime suspect so far. Normally I would introduce you in more properly, but I'm rather busy now. Take care of some matters. If you need any help, just ask the builders. Or Trough. She's a good dinosaur. If you need help, take care of anything. Take care. Thanks, Chief. Don't worry. We'll probably treat our guests with proper fungillian hospitality. Oh, look at the time. You get some groceries before noon. Take care. See you around, Ziff. Everybody here deliberately ignores me. This is a joke. I'm gonna have my eye on you. Everyone's done. 40 shots. I got money. Alright, I think with that, I'm probably going to call it here. It's been about seven hours, so I will save my game. Yeah, and then we'll call it here. So, outro. Thank you for coming by uh, for the first affiliate stream. Uh, thank you for all the subs and follows and hanging out and chatting you know it's helps it helps things be more fun when everyone talks so you know always feel free to chat with me or with each other um you know random stuff like that uh as usual thanks for coming by 
let's me see if someone will raid first before everyone dips though. Let's see who's who's around for raiding. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Let's raid Ant Dimer. They are currently playing Stalker, Clear Sky. The other Russian apocalyptic game. I thought about playing Stalker Anomaly, which is like the uh, the free like open world one. I mean they're all open world, but you know. But I don't know how good of a stream game that is, so. But they're playing Yeah. Clear Sky. It's a really good one. So yeah, once again, thanks for coming by. Um, hopefully I'll see you later. I might stream tomorrow. I don't know. We got work coming up soon, so. If I don't, I'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye.